I accept your EULA. Aspire, okay. 171 FPS? Bros. How come we don't have any sound? Oh, by the way, they uh, they think everything in this game is racist. That was also another thing that came out recently. Oh, it came out yesterday. <gasps> oh my god. Somebody give me the paper towels. Oh. Dude, this looks amazing. Okay, what's in, oh, what's in extras? Eula? If you want to read your user agreement, here you go. You can wear it at any time you want. All right, cool, Michael Rogers. Thanks a lot, Michael Rogers. All right, so all of this seems subtitles. We got some subtitles going on in here with some controls, tank controls. So I will be looking at the tank controls a little bit here in caves just to kind of understand what they've changed. I might swap back and forth to the tank controls every once in a while just to kind of see, oh, what did they do? Did they break it here? What's going on? But for the most part, I'm going to be doing my first playthrough of the remasters using the modern controls so I can get a good feel as to how well these controls work for this game because I doubt they did that. <laughs> I doubt they did that. Uh, yeah, 60 FPS. I'm running at 170 on this, so, but we'll see how long that lasts. Vibration. Oh, we got to have the vibration. Sensitivity. I have max sensitivity. Change controls. Okay, we're going to be trying to do the modern controls. It's the modern control challenge. Try to beat these games using the modern controls, ladies and gentlemen. There's the expansion. So you just go to new game and then, uh, yeah. Oh, so the FMVs are identical. We're going to watch them all too, guys. I immediately switched to tank. Haha. Yeah, we're doing a modern controls playthrough over here, guys. I trust me. I'm sure I'm going to want the tank controls all day myself, uh, but I want to do it for my first playthrough. Yeah, exactly. Killer Kevin. Exactly. Zachary, no tears? Oh, uh, we'll see, man. It's kind of darker. It looks a little darker to me. No. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Huh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. But then you'll like a big... It's not playing. My sounds aren't playing. I've run out of dunks. Are you busy tomorrow? I have not. <laughs> I can see that they refiltered these. This is definitely put through uh, uh, some sort of filter to try to reduce the blockiness. So this is sort of a remaster. It's more of a new filter, an added filter. Looks good, though. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it looks like they definitely looks like an upgrade from a slight upgrade from the other. So the FMVs are the original ones, but the in-game um, rendered cinematics and cutscenes, they are actually HD. Oh my God, Bacon Lara gonna look crazy. She's gonna be great. The FMVs are upscaled. I wonder if they use some AI or something also to try to sharpen it. So this is, here's my theory, man. I think Lara Croft kills this guy on purpose. I think she sees this as an opportunity to not only destroy the wolves that were gonna attack her, but also, oh, oh, a stray bullet shot the Peruvian. Cause she doesn't want to share the treasure, you know? That's her motive. See, he's dead. See, look, there's a gunshot wound. There's no bite marks on this man. I 
I didn't turn on my bot. My bot is on. It's for whatever reason. Let me uh, reload it, actually. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, it's it it works exactly how you would expect it to. Like these movements look working bad. Oh god. That's right, they changed some of this stuff. Oh my god, we gotta change it back, dude. It, uh, modern controls don't feel too bad, but they're exactly how you would expect them to be. Yeah, yeah, this isn't this makes some uh this makes sense. Okay, but but Oh, there we go. Oh, so the start menu, which is the pause, flips between modern and... And of course, they don't have the background working. Hopefully they update that. Oh, let's go to the controls here. Change controls. We want run, back, left, right, walk. So what's, all, what's R1 then? They don't even have it mapped for walk. Right bumper. Oh, okay. Right bumper, so then they have jump is going to be, that's right, action is this, weapon, look, roll, duck, dash. So they have the duck and dash in Tomb Raider 1, but I don't think you can do it. I don't think you can actually, secondary, what the heck is secondary? That might be like the flare for Tomb Raider 2 or something. Weapons, weapon, that must be a draw. Look which is left bumper, roll duck, duck is, I believe it's left trigger, and dash would be right trigger. Am I right about that? I guess I'll find out, because it, it'll, it'll, I'll remember back later on, so, but I think that's, those are the controls I want to use, man. All right, modern controls, baby, here we go. Okay, so this feels a lot better. You definitely want to remap your controls, guys. You're gonna to want to set them up like I have them. Okay, so even walking with the modern controls. So one thing you can't do with modern controls is jump to the, you can't side jump anymore because as soon as you press to the left, she turns that way. Um, with, with tank controls, when you press jump and then immediately go to the left like this, she'll do the side jump. I don't understand why they couldn't do that with modern controls. I don't understand why they couldn't have done that. Um. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, it's supposed to play similar to Legend. Yeah, I don't. So her jumping is still the same mechanic, even in modern controls. The jumping is still the same. They did fix. They fixed her jump. Hold on a second. Okay, good luck trying to pull up on a ledge using modern controls. Okay, I think we just broke them. I think we finally just broke modern controls. We've already broken. I haven't gotten. Oh, there we go. We already broke modern controls. I haven't gotten the first secret yet in the game. Wait, where was the grab? What? Do I not know how to grab? Oh, I can't do backflips either. And, but I think they said if you have their weapons drawn, why are they just going back away? The 60 FPS is good. Yeah, it's amazing. You can't hold walk and side jump with modern controls. Was it? No, they said it was. Uh, that's. That's this dive. Uh, they said it was weapons. Wait a second. The, the weapons holster when you let go of the weapon button. So they want you to hold it. What, do you want to... How do I... What in the hell, man? Come on, I got a good one for you. All right, the bot should work. I'm not sure uh, if it's still broken or not, but. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. Yeah, there you go. There you guys go. See if that works for you. There's a setting to toggle it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> weapon. And action is A. Oh. Yeah, that's right. So I can't even fire my weapon though. Hold on, let's go back to tank controls real quick. Let's see how these work. They feel the same. Let's see if uh, blindfold stuff still works. 
it does <laughs> so turning uh so i can still do it we may have to do remastered for blindfold then but uh sidestepping is gonna be a little bit more difficult here that works too though i think i get used to that i can get used to that bro we're gonna have to we're gonna do remaster we might be able to do remaster blindfolds okay uh let's go back to oh uh, how about firing the weapon though she keeps them out the firing works just fine SOTS again and blindfolded what the I don't know what that is um you can still you can also use the analog stick in tank controls it it feels weird and it, w it works kind of how you would expect but yeah yeah it's just a, it's just pressing diagonal the keys tank controls seem to work just they seem to not have botched the tank controls thank goodness let's see about a handstand still do a handstand but i'm blindfolded monitor controls default only oh my goodness oh and we know about um oh we should try to work on some achievements too let's see if we can get one here this is that dive one right is that in this one anyway i'm not i'm just kidding around so we need we're trying to figure out why i can't fire my weapons in modern controls i can't seem to fire my weapons in modern controls guys So I have to have my, I have to hold the weapon button to, but then I can't fire. Ick bro, ick. I mean, I, this is giving me the ick for real. I mean, I can't even fire my weapon. If I can't fire my weapon, I can't play modern controls. I mean, what? You have to pay for the fire guns DLC. <laughs> Supposed to hold RL2 for aim and shoot with the right trigger. I changed the key binding immediately. Yeah, but then the key binding should still work. So I don't understand your logic here. If I, instead of left trigger, right trigger, I have Y and X, but that's not working. So that's still a botched freaking control, regardless of how you look at it. This is dumb. This isn't good. This is bad. All right, let's try if we can actually do it this way. All right, so left trigger. We'll just get rid of the duck since we don't have it in here. And then Y will be. Yeah, it don't work, bro. Okay, so looking is a toggle in modern controls. You toggle the look and then you can look around or you can just use the, the thing. Switch version. Switch doesn't come out for like another 12 hours. I'm sorry to hear you, to tell you. In what game do you have to hold the weapon button to keep it out? You don't. Not the none that I know of. Like, it doesn't matter. I have the guns out. No matter what I press, she's not firing her weapons. Secondary is your shoot option. Oh, really? How am I supposed to understand that? Action. Action used to... Why would you change the terminology? And it was never... Ma oh, it was mapped at one point. Okay, these, these modded controls are botched for sure. I have to use trigger buttons? I have to use trigger buttons for this? I have to. So, so, oh wait, hold on. No, no, no. I see. Because I, because it's the secondary for shoot. Like uh, what was uh, Dairy Queen was telling me. Okay. But I can't remap this to action. I have to remap this as a trigger button. No, I can, I have to bring the weapons out on a trigger. No, I'm sorry. I keep, I keep, I keep mess. I'm sorry. I'm brain farting all over the place here. 
Uh, so yes, here's here's the key. The secondary is for shooting your weapons in... I don't understand why you can't just use action. Why would they separate it? Oh, hold on. So this is something you would have done in Resident Evil or Silent Hill for PS1. You know, a game with the tank controls. In that game, you hold the weapon button to ready it and then another to shoot. Are they high as fuck? Yeah, I guess so. That's what they did with LAU. Yeah, they should have uh, they should have at least massaged the controls to work for the fucking game that they put the controls into. You would think they would do that. But they didn't. They just said, oh, we're just going to take these controls. We're just going to snatch them out and just throw them into this other game. And then, oh, just wash your hands and walk away. <laughs> the fuck? Bro, at, having two separate buttons for action and shooting is retarded. That is retarded. Whoever made that decision needs to be fired. Even under modern controls. That's one of the reasons why I hated freaking... Probably one other reason why I didn't like the uh, LAU trilogy. Well, I, I didn't like. I liked it to some degree. It's an okay Tomb Raider trilogy, but yeah. Anyway, what are the defaults buttons? They're jacked up. They definitely don't uh, align with. Let's just restore the defaults and maybe just try to freaking learn new new layout. Okay, so guns here. Okay, movement. Uh, this is this is. What is that button? I don't know what that button. Okay, roll. This is squares walk. That's so weird. X is okay. If Y doesn't do anything, then oh, it does action. That's right. And I want this to be X. I want jump to be square. I don't know why they would move that. I guess oh. I guess as uh, Xenius is saying here, Xenius is saying that they changed it to ba it's basically lined up with default LAU. Okay, I'm, I think I, I think I finally aligned here, but at the same time, I'm not enjoying the uh, the non massaging of these controls for this particular game. It's kind of annoying. I won't lie. So walk. I can't use. I guess I can use the right bumper. It's not, which makes sense. Yeah, right bumper is not mapped to anything. So jump, that's square, action, weapons is left trigger, fire with the other one. No sidestepping since I don't need it. Okay, sure. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Now it's making some sense. Uh, But why did she not grab the ledge there? Do I need to... Use a different button to grab ledges. Okay. So with the weapons drawn, then I can do a backflip. But then I, if I want to do a backflip, I have to put the guns away. I have to take the guns out, do the backflip, put them away so I can try to grab this ledge, but I can't seem to grab ledges. The fuck? I can't. She's not grabbing the ledge for me, man. Oh, oh, for whatever reason, you have to use the secondary grab. But hold on, man. If secondary for grabbing, how come I'm able to grab the ledge right here with the action button? I'm holding the action, but I'm not holding the trigger. I could switch to the trigger. So dumb. This is lame. I'm not enjoying these controls one bit. This is gonna be a painful playthrough. Okay, so you can toggle hanging from a ledge now is basically what it, that's all about. Oh, she automatically grab. I don't have to do anything. She just grabs the ledge. But then in order for me to, I see. So I have to use the secondary. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. This is bad. Yeah, modern controls are bad, guys. I'm sorry. Because it's secondary? You're, none of the, any, any arguments for about for secondary versus action it, are, are not feasible because in modern, in classic Tomb Raider, 
they work just fine as one freaking button you don't need to so the fact that they even made this for lau is kind of a ridiculous thing so now i have to use the trigger to actually even do anything in this game okay yeah these controls are bad bro it's an added challenge yeah that's why i'm choosing to play him on this mode see how it goes so with the guns out i then i can jump to the side they said i can do side jumps but i have to have guns out it's just painful, bro. <laughs> the camera looks horrible, too. <laughs> okay. All right, I think I'm done ranting on the new controls, but I, I'm sure there'll be more later on when I die to some dumb stuff. So far, I mean, they work. It works. I mean, I, if I were to get this game and have these controls, let's let's imagine a world where Tomb Raider 1 was released with these controls. The classic original was released with these controls we're using right now. And then they came out with a remastered version and they released, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to be adding a new, new control scheme. We're going to call them tank controls. And then they did that for the remaster. I would probably just use the tank, tank controls forever. <laughs> just saying. You're tired? What the hell, man? We just got started. As someone personally struggles hard with the tank controls, I'm excited about the modern controls. Yeah, give them a shot. I'm actually, I mean, I think tank controls are, the, are way more consistent than these controls. I guess it just depends on how you play them, how you play the game. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're not. Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't, you also can't line up for a run and jump, right? So if I want to, I can't hop back and prepare myself for this run and jump. That's one of the issues that I knew was going to be or we were going to have with the modern controls. Like if I want to make this, you can make this jump in standard in uh, tank controls. You cannot. It's going to be a lot harder to do this in modern controls. Oh yeah, oh, I would have. I would have made it if I would have used the right grab button. So maybe, uh, maybe uh, it's not that bad. I guess if the one they did fix the uh, the jumping issue in Tomb Raider one. So Tomb Raider one did have an issue with the jumping where she would have to be. She would have to have one of her foot on the ground during her animation in order for her to actually leave the ground when you press jump. Whereas in, the, in Tomb Raider two, they fixed it. Um, they actually fixed that here in Tomb Raider as well. So let's try to. So there's no longer, you know, lining up for this thing. You just got to. Oh, I got to hit the right freaking button, man. All right, how long are you going to be tonight? Oh, for a while. I'll be on for a while, man. This looks amazing, though. I mean, this is honestly overall so far, and so for, from what I've seen, I always I keep lining up for this. From what I've seen, we've got a really good remaster. To be completely honest, like overall, I would you know so far from what I've seen, like my my rating meter is like eight or nine out of ten for for remastering a game like a lot of remasters get botched and this one isn't too bad at least we have the tank controls and if we want to go back to uh classic tomb raider we can it's still this this feels 30 fps though oh you can't oh you can't rotate the game. okay there we go jumping in tr jumping is a bit rough it is it's it sucks in tr1 like tr1 jumping tank control jumping is not the best i will admit that one wait what the heck That's, oh wait, I just got the uh, photo mode. I didn't mean to get go in here though. Oh God. Okay, there you go guys. I died in the caves. Congratulations. Do I have a death counter here? I died in the caves. We can blame modern controls for that one. I hope they eventually add outfits. They have uh, this. How did I get there? Oh, I see. I had to hold the left analog stick and then press the right analog stick on my controller to bring this up, just so that way everybody is aware. Left analog stick press in, then right analog press in. Um, 
Oh, look, you can rotate. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Field of view, that's cool. Um, then we got, you can change your outfit for the, for the uh, cameras and stuff. This face reminds me of messy Christmas. Death counter not active? It, oh. All right, it's active now. My bad, dude. Death by modern controls. Oh, nice. That's tight. But you can't keep the you cannot keep the outfit. That was one of the things I was hoping they would have done. Maybe you can unlock it later. That would be pretty cool if they made stuff that you can unlock and stuff. This is how we mastered it, maybe beside the menu background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so what I've learned, guys, is uh, grabbing is automatic in this. Um, with modern controls, just like it is in, L uh, in LAU. I gotta remember that I, I, my mind is so ingrained in classic right now that when it comes to controls, that the LAU controls kind of escape me. Plus, I haven't really played them very much. Be honest. Okay, let's get to the end of this level. I, uh, I, I uh, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Take controls are just way more consistent than this one. These ones. But I can I can understand why some people struggle with them, but honestly, it's it is just a better way of having the game, in my opinion. In controls. But I the modern controls, they're not bad, I guess. So far, I mean they they work. You could still do everything. You're gonna have to kind of re-change your your mindset if you're gonna play with this setting, with this mode. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, they have these uh, action indicators on here now too. So whenever you're near something you can use action on, it'll give you the uh, exclamation point. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, you're normally I'm I got I line up for stuff like that, but I think the reason why I do that in Tomb Raider One way more often is because of that extra step she takes when she runs and jumps, and it can really screw you up since you can't jump whenever you want in classic Tomb Raider One. That's one of the reasons for that. Whoa, did you guys see that? They added features on the outside of this building. That's badass, dude. That's yeah, cool. Good morning from Bulgaria. What's up, nobody? Look at the foliage. Foliage. So her turning in the air when she on modern controls is the same radius as tank controls. So we don't have like perfect control of her in the air or anything like that. These controls make the game feel like as if it would let less weight to it. Oh, one of the reasons I love tank controls is that it adds a sense of weight to the game that makes each jump and action feel amazing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. These make, they make sense. I don't really know how else to describe or how to answer that question.
I don't know if it I mean there it's possible to play with this it seems like it'd be very possible to play this game with the modern controls which is cool because then it's gonna allow a lot of access to a lot of people who think the tank controls are terrible Uh, can I feel like I run around easily without thinking of thing too much? Yeah, I mean, normally I'm that way anyway, but... Four twenty? Oh, five thirty. Dang it. I almost got another 420Ks, baby. <laughs> Big D player. Game looking pretty good. It looks it looks amazing. This is def oh look at that load screen, baby. Oh my goodness. This definitely is a I mean her model, her face and their model is just a, a very surprising considering, you know, the models that they've been pro providing for modern Lara Croft. Like this mo this model is just spot on as to what I would expect it to look like. I, they did a freaking amazing job there. Whoever was in charge of that, they need to promote that guy. Or girl. Whatever. Or neither or both. Whatever the frick. It's also much harder to, uh, like, in modern controls, when you're getting attacked, it's much harder to, like, jump around and, you know. Oh, look what they did. They added, by the way, in 2 meter 1. So there's that. Can you play modern controls graph class graphics? Yeah, absolutely. Look how fast she turns. I don't know why I'm fighting this bear. So when you're oh when you're fighting, you can still jump around because you have your gun you have your guns out. But you have to hold on. That's going to be kind of tricky to get into those modes. So, like, if I have my guns drawn and I'm running around, I want to side jump. I have to jump and then, well, if I'm running forward, I have to come to a complete stop first, and then I can side jump. But I, I think you kind of got to do that anyway with tank controls. Wait, how do I tilt downward? Isn't there? How do I tilt down? Oh, is it? How do I tilt myself? I can turn around and run underwater now too. All you ha hundreds of you talking and chattering and breaking my brain. Hold up. on. Hey, thank you so much for the raid for Fort Fire with 18 people. What's up? We're playing some brand new released remastered. Hold on. I can't even angle in the water. She moves relative to the camera. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now it's, yeah, it makes a little bit more sense now. Okay. That was kind of hard to pick up on because I was trying. I thought I was trying to do that and it wasn't working. I think there was something else preventing me from. Weird, bro. Hey. Ms. Laudable. Hey, it's a lot easier for you to surface without going back a tick, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a lever. Okay, I'm, I'm holding, so you don't hold square. I was holding square to try to swim. You don't hold that, you just hold forward, she swims. Um, and then you angle the camera to direct her, okay. So what time is released for Switch? Um, Man, what, there's a whole chart that explains. I'm not sure what, uh, yeah, she automatically holds onto ledges with the modern controls.
Will I finish TR1 today on this stream? Uh, probably. Okay, yeah, okay. So you still die with square, and then you gotta use the uh, analog sticks to guide it around. Eighteen uh eighteen hundred CET for Switch, nine AM Pacific time for Epic and Switch. Okay, yeah, we gotta use the secondary button. Magnum ammo. I try to not use a med pack. See if we can no med let no loads of no meds this game. So far, so far good. Except I died once, but that's to be expected. There's an option for class controls. There is, there is. Yes, I am playing on the modern controls intentionally so that way I can kind of critique them throughout for the entire game. But yes, you can definitely play. So I even checked out the the tank controls that they put in here and they're con very consistent to the original thing. So yeah, man. It's good, bro. You gotta have a good time with this. Yeah, this is a good remaster, hands down, so far. I can overlook the menu being black, and hopefully they can fi they'll fix that. Hey, secret! Guns seem to fire inconsistently? No, they fire correctly as long as you have them drawn correctly. So far, they really did a good job. So far, there hasn't been, like, I don't think I found anything that's kind of a, I mean, besides the modern controls, I'm just not a modern controls fanatic, so I'm gonna be negative toward them any regardless. Whoa, look at this texture. That's cool. How do I take the picture? Uh, let's see, hide UI, and then reset hide UI, what? I don't even know how to take the picture. Oh, I guess we just use screenshot. I guess I don't need to, yeah, it's fine. Just use the screenshot. I need to push this. 60 plus FPS. This is running at 170 for me, and that's what my refresh rate on my monitor is, so. I haven't had any uh, screen drops. No, frame, it's smooth as hell for me. I'm running on a 1070 for anybody that that's cons wondering what graphics card I have. This is how good it looks on a 10 freaking 70. Three D skills. That's right. Still getting used to Lara moving so smoothly while the landscape is still blocky. <laughs> yeah, modern controls are not bad in this. Honestly, I, I I said a lot of crap, and I still I stick by what I said. But at the same time, they're not. They it makes it's possible to play. It's fluid. It makes sense. Um, if you if you just got to kind of fix your head when it comes to the controls if you're gonna use them I'm probably gonna stick with modern controls. I'm not saying that I'm gonna oh, I'm I'm probably gonna stick with tank controls I'm not saying I'm switching to modern controls before anybody wants to throw that at me. I'm just saying that it's not bad And I understand if I, I got a good feel for them now, so alt f4 for taking picture. All right, I'll try that next time Am I liking it so far it looks great man Look at this thing. The camera does looks does run slower in classic graphics. I think that has to do with the FPS. They're probably going ba a di certain distance with the camera based on the frame rate. So.
How is there one still alive? The thing I don't like about modern controls is secondary action is both shoot and grab. Yeah, that's that's also an issue I'm taking. That was one of the big things I mentioned. Yeah, this is a pretty good remaster so far, for sure. Look at this room, dude. We're eating good, guys. Like, this is... This is definitely not a horror story of a remaster. Better than MGS uh, Master Collection. I still wanted to get that. Uh, with the modern controls, she it is kind of hard to make sure she's going to go in the, the direction you want her to. Obviously, that's always been an issue with camera controls. And that's why tank controls are superior, in my opinion. You can guarantee you're going to be going in a, in a particular direction. Um, yeah. Okay, so you have to, she auto grabs in modern controls. Had to step out, did they add any new actions or is Lara set the same and move as it's in tier one? It is, it is upgraded with TR, I think it's up to TR2 standards. So I can jump, turn around, I can jump whenever I want off the ground while running. Um, you can also swim, turn around. They're all, it's all pretty much set up that way. Screens from Egypt with light effects. We'll be there before too long. We'll be there before too long. Let's try to get there as fast as possible. We're gonna get. We're trying to get all the secrets as well. So this playthrough, for those of you who are wondering, this playthrough, the goal is to do modern controls for all three games and expansions, all secrets, all uh, not necessarily no loads, no meds. Although I'll try. I'm gonna if I could get no loads, no meds on the remasters, no loads, no meds, all secrets on the on TR one. That would satisfy my not having it having it on youtube right now <laughs> uh. you can't look cancel those animations unless it's something else unless there's something else maybe 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 you can't tank controls you can't in modern Well, there goes that. Well, no loads, no meds over. Turns out I gotta start this level over though. I'm also gonna blame modern controls for that one. Combat is a little bit, a little. it's a little bit different. I'm not sure how if I can get used to that or what, but. Combat is different. Oh, when I drop glitches at the end of TR1? Yeah. Yeah, that makes it kind of... That actually renders that run... Uh, um, bad, because you're supposed to do it glitchless. Yeah, I need to definitely need to get a Tomb Raider 1 Nolas Nomads done. All right, Dusky Rose, thanks for coming by, at the very least. Is there a different 
Is there different in this modern controls with distance jumping running jumps? No, they're the same. So the jumping mechanic is identical. Like as soon as you leave the ground, all the animations and everything are the same as they are in classic. You may be using modern controls. It's possible to play. You're gonna have to, it's gonna take some getting used to if you're used to classic controls for sure. Maybe the distance is greater. We'll I'll have to experiment with that at some other time. Um, the distance might actually be greater in remastered jumping, which if it is, that would be, you know, awesome for the speedrunners because now they have another tool that they can use to get more distance. Although all those you know pixel perfect jumps that they do is going to be a lot a little bit a lot more difficult with uh, modern controls. How's the game looks? It looks amazing. Take your take a look for yourself, man. Look at this. Here's some classic action for you. Hey, we even have uh, action indicators in classic. You just woke up? Well, that's not good for us. You can't backpedal and shoot at the same time. Uh, you can if you're if you are firing and you stand still for a split moment then you can actually hop back and fire forward with modern controls How'd you guys like that point blank bat execution? Love it. Now we need a tier four and five and AOD remaster. We they actually just kind of need to redo it. Yeah. It don't work. What? So yeah, if you're firing, if you're in modern controls, if you're in the middle of firing, you can if you're running though, and then and firing, and then you turn around, you're gonna turn around with it. You actually have to come to a complete stop first, and then you can hop backwards. So that's gonna be kind of a weird thing. Dead, dead, dead. It's a lot easier to turn around with modern controls too. I mean, in tier one, you basically had to rely on rolling to turn around, but this one, you literally just flip the, the thing and be like, boop, hello, hey. Controls are the classic ones from PS1 or, I think it's this, they're all the same, honestly. There was some wiki somewhere. Oop. I honestly should just start over and try to do Nola's no Nomads. Go back to caves. I don't really want to sit here and stream all day though for Nola's no Nomads, so. I want to get to this game. We got a walkthrough to make and everything, so. There's some wiki somewhere that listed bad games and otherwise good games that had horrible parts and the ropes in TR4 had a long article and it referenced me in it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, those ropes are horrendous, man. 
You know, and that makes me wonder, dude, like, okay. Oh my God, I didn't, I don't know why I never thought of this. Okay, so let's say that they do remaster Tomb Raider 4. Would we be okay with them completely changing the, the rope mechanics because they suck so bad? Or should we not want that? I think we should not want that. I think wanting that is bad. Because we have no idea. Once they start changing stuff like that, they start changing all kinds of stuff. I think I'm going to personally go with don't change it. Keep it. The ropes are a special case. Well, vehicles also weren't really well implemented either in these games, to be honest. Oh, no. Damn, son. Starting to get used to these controls. Now I'm going to go back to blindfold and pressing these modern controls and freaking... I really want to try to... Uh, I'm going to actually switch back to... I'm going to switch over to uh, tank controls for a little while just so I can get a feel for how it... If I'm actually playing Tomb Raider 1. I want to know what it feels... Because I'm pretty confident it is because I know that other people just switch over to them, so... Freaking perfect. Okay. I gotta remember that I'm using tank controls right now. Yeah, these are... She is stiff. That's one of the criticisms that I will... I, I accept when it comes to these controls is that she is stiff in tank controls. I can... I immediately feel the stiffness after playing with the modern controls for a little bit longer. That stiffness is definitely very prevalent. But it's what I'm with familiar with, so it works out for me, I guess. All right, let's not die to these axes. We definitely need to switch back to the modern controls for this. Only because, uh, traps and stuff. Nope. Oof. She also immediately turns in modern controls. That's also something that's a little bit different. I like him stiff. Damn straight. I love being a streamer, dude. Oh, God. You can still jump, turn around in these controls, too. Do the enemies seem to die easier? No, they seem exactly the same. So to check that out. Do your meds for your, your hip, so I'm probably going to crash shortly. Going to watch till then. Okay, and uh, hey, thanks for coming by. The enemies seem to have the exact same health. Like the bears actually die pretty quickly compared to most enemies. Oh, that stops the... Okay, yeah, being able to uh, hop backwards off a ledge to grab it is going to be a problem in modern controls. Like, if you just want to, like, if you're standing on the edge, you just want to hop back and grab the ledge, you're going to have a hard time with that. How the heck did I miss this thing? I didn't pick it up. <laughs> oh, my God. He's a pro. Wait, what the hell? 
It reactivated the axes? I didn't know it did that. Forgot to grab the freaking idol, bro. Almost dead. A rookie mistake, yeah, very much a rookie mistake. The Bray doesn't have a life of its own anymore? I think it does. Well, actually in Tomb Raider 1, it shouldn't even have a Braid classic. Wow, they I didn't even recognize that they didn't that they actually kept that out. I thought they would have actually put it in here, but it's good that they kept it as original as possible. That's good that they did that. Okay. Bro, I'm honestly thinking that remasters could replace classics, the classic like when it comes to blindfolded for sure and uh maybe even speedrun, but I'm not a speedrunner. I really don't do a whole lot of speedruns, so I don't know what's broken for that for that but all the movement sets and everything is set up for still works for blindfolded so i could do remaster blindfolds That's that's another way you can tell if a if a remaster is a, is a success or not. Does all the challenge runners pick up the remasters for their runs or not? If they don't, then you didn't really do a whole lot of uh cuz the the people who do like speed runs and do all these streams, they're going to keep your game alive a lot longer. So you kind of need to you might just want to help them out with that. All right, here we go, Lost Valley. We're gonna be able to see, yeah, I'm gonna be redoing my walkthroughs. We're gonna be seeing the T-Rex here shortly, guys. We're gonna go grab that shotgun first, it's a trophy. Goodness gracious. It's kind of, it's definitely hard to line up for stuff with these controls, brothers. Damn, son. No. All right, looks like we're going down. Oops. <laughs> we gotta go get that shotgun first, though. <sighs> Albert Wesker Sue. Downloaded it on PS5, played for one minute and deleted it from my library going doing this game with D-pad movement insane. Uh okay. Let's just go the long way to get it. We don't have to do the short. That lineup, dude, honestly, lining up for jumps is kind of difficult in modern controls, man. 
because you can't really get your camera to be in the right position for it. And you don't, you can't really fine tune your, your, you know, your positioning and your facing. I don't think I, that I can, I, I can't go in this way yet. I gotta need the water. My bad. That sixty FPS, man, you can feel it go away as soon as you sw as soon as you swap the graphics, man. You can just I thought that these graphics were also sixty FPS, but I guess I was wrong. It's possible to play that using old controls and new graphics? Yes. Yes, new controls, old old controls, new graphics, new controls, old graphics. Yeah, the 60 FPS is a huge. The six, that's just a crazy good addition cuz trust me as a content creator for Tomb Raider, I'm well aware of the frame rate. T-Rex time, let's take a good look at this guy. Oh wait, before we do that. Uh, by the way, this camera mode, we were, I was over at another stream, somebody got some super early access. They were actually in Atlas Mines. It was Miranda versus. And with this, with this camera, you can go to the end of the freaking game. You can go to the end of the level all the way, as long as there's no doors blocking you. If the doors are open, you can go there. You can literally go anywhere you want. It's pretty awesome. Got the trophy, baby. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Whoa, it's so amazingly upgraded. Look at that thing, dude. The actual sky now, yeah. As you can see in classic, it was just a black top. We can switch back between classic and remaster, yes. In on the fly too. Um, and I'm playing it right now with the modern controls too. The camera moves, it's kind of, it's much more clunkier with the uh, modern controls and the uh, um, classic graphics because uh, I think the frame rate's different and the camera seems like it's going to be it's based on the frame 
frame rate. My goodness, yeah. The the modern controls, I don't feel like they uh, they actually help you position yourself at all. They don't really help you do that. It's very difficult to angle yourself how you want to with the modern controls. Either that or I suck with them. This looks awesome. It's so good. Like this remaster is good. Dang it. In the dead zone. It's a lot harder to see the items on the ground in the modern graphics, though. Not a lot, but it is harder, yeah. You hope they remaster tennis for two? <laughs> what? Running low on life. I was the first person on YouTube to make your day when you were 14 with my walkthroughs. Oh, wow. And your first person to see the remasters through. I'm uh, going to insane. Can't believe this. <laughs> You're welcome. 14, man. The return of classic Lara Croft. Yeah, we better. Uh, I don't think we can expect anything like this out of Crystal Dynamics, um, to be honest. This is kind of like a. I feel like this is a one time thing. I don't think Crystal Dynamics is going to, you know, cater to the classic people. They have their own agenda. They have their own game that they're trying to push through. I don't understand why they just couldn't just do new IP, but hey, you know what? They decided to take this amazing franchise and screw with it as much as they feel like they can. They own the rights to do so, so. She might actually jump a little further with the modern controls. Which would be I kind of what I expected because the modern control, she didn't jump anywhere near as far. And not being able to line up for a jump is kind of a issue. Like, here's an example. I want to fall off backwards on this thing, but I can't. I can't fall backwards and grab the ledge. I guess I'll have to resort to always facing it with the modern controls, that is. And then rolling. I guess that's what we'll have to do. Trying to remember where all the secrets are. Oh, there's one up on top of the building over here. Oh, I also thought the shotgun was a secret, but I guess I was wrong. That's what I thought. Okay, so this isn't too bad actually. This platforming isn't too bad with the modern controls. It's not it's not impossible. I'd rather I'd still rather be using tank, I believe, but 
This isn't too incredibly ridiculous. I can't even, I couldn't even see these uh, Magnum Ammos. When you started the game, did the menu say Lara's home or Croft Manor? Yes. Oh, did, oh, I'm not sure which one it said in particular, but it was there. I'm sorry I didn't look. Okay. Hey, Evilly. No, I need to. I want to get some coffee, man. Uh, honestly, I'm. This is my normal time to be awake, because <laughs> I'm always, I'm always up late. I'm always up all night. So when I stream, yeah, normally what I'll do oh is I, I sleep before I wake <laughs> up and stream. Just so you guys are aware, that's how that goes down. If anyone mentions Hypersquare on this special day, you're banned. Uh, Hypersquare is actually a decent TRLE. It's fun. It's visually hyper, but it's fun. So I guess I'm banned then. Ban the man. I mean, modern controls, they're honestly quicker. They're much quicker response. Just the way that you turn and the way that you are able to maneuver, the response is much quicker with modern controls. I mean, a part of me thinks that it might actually be possible to replace speed runs with modern controls because of the responsiveness of them. I don't know, though. Like I said, I'm not a speed runner, but the way that she's moving right now, it's crazy. The way I'm able to turn and just get around the ledges is just crazy. She rolled while jumping on tier one. Yeah, you can do that now. Yeah, they fixed it. I think she has the same move set that she has in Tomb Raider 2, with the exception of the flare. We need I love Hypersquare as a sound bite to annoy a nano. What we need is we need to get an we need to figure out what Nano's voice is, and then we need to get an AI generation of her saying she loves Hypersquare, and then make that the sound bite. What do you guys think of that? Am I too much of a masochist, or am I too much of a jerk? Tier three now Sonic the Hedgehog role. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, that's pretty funny. Just go. Oh, I'm I'm going, man. You relax. Yeah, I I'm rec I recommend these remasters. I mean, even even just playing with the modern controls, I I realize that the t the tank controls, if that's what you guys want, then they're there. Uh, this game is identical. The this is a legit remaster. This isn't like yeah, we're gonna remaster the game, but we're gonna freaking uh, get all the things. Like all bed packs in a single level. I just completed it. Yay.
we got to be careful here. See, like situations like this are kind of. All right, should have all the secrets done. Now. Yeah. I think that so I'm honestly feeling like uh, the, the the modern controls, they they're they're good for quick response. But the tank controls are good for precision. Just download your copy on Steam. Classical are so big. Yes. Ah, welcome. Yeah. By the way, just so we're all on the same page here. Crystal Dynamics did not make this. Aspire made this. Ass fire. Oh my goodness. I love how dark it is in here. Like, look at the uh, classic. It's dark, but it's still kind of light, unnaturally lit, you know? And this is, like, really good. Now we need flares and TR1. <laughs> yeah. We won't be seeing that, I'm sure. Like, look how quickly I was able to turn that corner and get to that switch. In classic, it doesn't work like that. In classic, if I want to turn that switch, or in cla tank controls, if I want to turn that switch, then I'm gonna I'm like I'm gonna be running around the corner and uh hold on let's take a look here like I have to turn and then land on it whereas with the modern controls I was literally able to just come out the door and boom I was right on the lever so yeah I think modern controls have their advantages I didn't want to do that Wait, the heck? Oh, that's right. I want to go this way. I've done this puzzle blindfolded. You would think I'd just know exactly what to do, but I don't. It's been honestly years since I did this level blindfolded. I think we're talking 2020. Evil murder. Hey peeps, how are they so far? Great. Remasters are great, man. Finally paid off. <laughs>
you kind of got to do this like circle run in a circle type thing in order to kind of get your run and jump going oh dude check this thing out so they these used to be 2d sprites in classic two-dimensional sprites and they didn't change it for the remaster which is cool and then they make it a 3d sprite 3D object and remaster. That's cool, man. Have you tried the Metal Gear Solid remake on GameCube? I have not myself, but. I really want need to get, I really want to get back to doing some Metal Gear Solid stuff because uh, that game is fun as hell, too. And I want to do some challenges, some more challenges. The croissant jump. Also, I think. Oh. Ah. You don't have to be facing a ledge straight to grab it. Um, you didn't really necessarily have to in regular two meter and classic two meter either. You don't have to be perfectly straight. You can be slightly angled, and in this one, it's the same. It's the same angle. So. Schmick Sam, what's up? Man, there's a lot of activity going on over here on YouTube, and I haven't been paying attention to you guys. I'm sorry, I'm neglecting you, you guys. I can't use monitor controls, I just stuck with tank controls. Yeah, it took a second to get used to these controls. I'm playing them, I'm using them right now. Um, uh, they seem to be okay. I'm, I'm glad we have tank controls. I'm glad that they originally had, had tank controls. You have a lot more precision with her movement. Oh, I was going to check the fault. At least you need to check the false grab. That's something that I was looking at somebody else playing this and they were saying that it's broken a little bit. So whenever I get an opportunity, we'll look into that. Happy to finally catch a live stream. has been uh, watching you on YouTube for years. Never commented, but it's uh, thanks to you. I can play these games and might actually beat them. Now, thanks for being my TR comfort streamer. You are very welcome. I am Sakina Stunner. You came from Rootube. All right, awesome. On tank controls, I press and hold touchpad inventory and press O to draw shotgun. Press X pistols without having to go into the inventory as well as R1 for flares. Test on tier two and tier three. Don't about inventory and press O. I think to look into that. All right. Hold on. I'm I'm trying to figure out what this guy's saying on tank controls. Oh, he's talking about tank controls. You can swap. You can swap the weapon. Hold the touchpad. Oh, that's on. The touchpad is on PlayStation. I'm on. I'm on. Um. Hey, I went this way, right? I came this way. I'm playing on PC, so I don't think. That, yeah, I did that. Okay. We're good. We're just gotta get out of this level. Wait. This level has three secrets. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I know them all. Uh, 
Oh my god, this is hard. To, like, I just want to get on this thing and uh, and drop and grab the ledge, but I'm afraid if I roll, I'm just gonna roll straight off. Yeah, this isn't trying to get jump backwards and grab a ledge is painful in tank controls. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, this is lame as hell. Okay, this is this is hard. I challenge you to try to get this secret with modern controls. Oh my god. No, you can't hop back in modern controls. You can in tank controls. The tank controls you can, yes. That's... This is exactly what I was afraid of with the tank and with modern controls. So, I mean, everything that I've thought about with modern controls is came to fruition. All the issues that I thought about. And it's surprising because I also had ways of solving it, but I just knew that they wouldn't because it's just how game companies are. They don't want to do any more work than they have to. <laughs> do you want to turn off grab a ledge? I think you can run and hold grab and she will grab it. What? So she like automatically turns around and grabs. So we can try that here. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Dairy Queen. Oh my God. Freaking regular old gamer here, man. Holy sh. That's exactly what it is. Steph Rooney got it there too. So if I'm holding the thing and she literally just, okay. Okay. All right. I mean, hell yeah, man. Early stream, very. Like a whole 12 hours off. Been watching your YouTube videos for over 10 years now. Thanks for the continued good uh, times. Um, been enjoying the live stream and can't wait to play myself. Yeah, it's awesome. It, guys, it, I mean, this remaster is solid as hell. This is definitely a remaster you don't want to miss. If you're a fan of classic Tomb Raider, or just Tomb Raider in general, you never played the classics, you want to give it a try, this is definitely the one you, you, you want to try. It will run fine, run smooth. Yeah, dude, pick this crap up. That's what I say. No! Damn it. What should you get for breakfast? You should eat a hard boiled egg. And that's it. Just one egg white only hard boiled egg. <sighs> Your mom would agree with me because she thinks she always should be thinner. How?
The combat is a little weirder for me um, in the modern controls in this, but I'm probably just not used to it. That's probably all it is, really. Oh, by the way, they changed the texture on this as well. You can see the actual ring sticking out from the box. Yeah, that's badass, dude. It's not just embedded in the texture. It's an actual ring object now. They're now actually Moobabble? Well, they've always been Moobabble. I like that they did some 2.5D effects in these, like the ladders. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ladders also stick off the walls, too, I notice. I haven't... Have I even seen a ladder in this one yet? I don't think I have, but... Movable blocks aren't glitching through the walls anymore. That's a good question. I'm not sure if they do that in the modern. Looks like in, they fixed it here in the graph. Although I think that might have been also. Is that a PlayStation 1 only thing or was that also a PC thing? Because I remember that very prevalently in the uh, classics. How are we like those remasters? I love them. I think they're great. I think these remasters are definitely a solid remaster for sure. They didn't botch this. Can you still do block jump glitches? I don't know. I haven't tried. All right. I guess I'll save it. I haven't saved it at all yet. <laughs> My save game is empty. That's why I told you to save it. If you didn't save it, shame on you. All right, so that's two of the three secrets. Still got Larson to deal with. Oh, and there's a uh, achievement here as well, I believe. Boom, baby. Let's see how this escape does me. these cameras is kind of ridiculous sometimes oh my god I can't even okay bro this is why having the controls stapled to the camera when you have a sporadic camera is a freaking problem that sporadic camera is gotta be resolved or something man <laughs> dang dude
Oh, I'm gonna die. We're gonna have to use a medi. Right, let's take a look at this guy. Oh no. I wanted to hide the UI. He looks a lot smarter than he is. This guy looks smart. This Larson's not smart. It's a glorious hole, isn't it? Look at that package, man. Perfect. Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours though. Hello? Oh, he Heal and hide you to our door, yeah. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are, right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece you say. Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre DuPont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! <laughs> You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natlin. Thank you. I will. Damn! That was amazing. Yeah, I need to get a coffee. I'm gonna go up and, uh, go grab uh, a coffee real quick i'll play some uh, music for you guys while i'm gone um because i am thirsty as hell so i'll be gone for like five minutes uh smells like i need some deodorant too so i'm gonna do some of that too All right. BRB.
I'm back. What's going on? All right, I'll see you guys back at that spot. All right, guys, I'm back at this spot. I grabbed a pop tart. Who just hosted? Uh, I don't think anybody hosted. There was Fort Fire a while ago, or an hour ago, but that was it. Hmm. I got a pop tart. I need a little bit of a uh, fuel, you know. Strawberry, it looks like a strawberry. Cherry. You're the cherry pop tart. I guess I should say it's a breakfast pastry because it's not pop tart. Pop tart's a brand. Mmm. All right, we're gonna jump right back in here pretty quickly, guys. This is a little piece of my coffee, and we'll be going. Cherry. It is 2.30 a.m. for me. Okay. Here we go. Back into the Tomb Raider. I'm going to turn the music off, obviously. Nostalgia. It would have been really cool if they redid these FMVs. I'm honestly don't mind it any bit whatsoever that they kept them as they are, though. Because, I mean, honestly, these FMVs aren't the, the best quality FMVs ever, but they're good. They're good enough. I beat myself every night too, man. The crazy nuts guys are gonna look crazy nuts. <laughs> here we go. Here we are, guys. We're in Greece. What a jerk! Happy Valentine's Day for you guys, too. I gotta keep it down. I was told that I was kind of loud. <laughs> so. How's everybody doing on this fine Thursday, Wednesday morning? Or afternoon, depending on where you're at.
Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Hey, if you want, if you want a tip on trying to find items, if you're looking for items in this game, turn on uh, classic graphics. They're a lot. It's a lot clearer. I thought there was a shotgun shell in here or something. Here we go, here's Pierre. <laughs> Honestly, think they did a great job with the facial upgrades. I mean, yeah. The end is backwards on this one. Look at that glorious hole. Lady Luck. Now we can see what's on his back there. That's cool, man. You can tell me he's gonna run away now because his life bar disappears. Yeah, that's one thing you gotta let happen when you're we're doing modern controls is uh you got you can't try to fine-tune your jumps. You just gotta hope that you're gonna press the D-pad in the right direction, and then she'll jump in that direction, but Dang. Pierre is pretty. <laughs> Morning, Raiden. What's going on, man? Yeah, this does look really good. Right, let's see if I can actually line up for this. So one thing we can do is we can jump turn around now. Damn it. Yeah, sometimes these controls are still real clunky though. Damn it. How am I missing this so hard? Oh, because I'm hitting the I'm pressing X to grab, not the trigger button. There we go. Oh. Dang it, hit the wrong buttons again. Just so used to the classic controls, man. I'm glad I'm playing this on the modern controls though, because it gives me a good idea as to what what they can do. It's be good for the walkthrough. You can still kind of do those kinds of lines up as long as you don't have to like, you know, jump at an angle or anything like that. You still have, you still need a full tile to do a run and jump from standing still. Just so you guys are aware, it's not like you can jump immediately.
Oh, I gotta open the door. What the heck? But I opened it. Oh, let's see. What's a half tile? Let's see what a half tile looks like here. Whoops. You could do the half tile even in uh, modern controls. It's the exact. It's exactly how you would think it would. It would work too. Oh, I didn't pull this lever. That's why. Nine forty two AM here and having morning coffee. Yeah, nice. I'm glad that they didn't it's all the same sound effects too. I'm glad that they um I think they just kind of remastered them. I'm glad that they didn't, you know, change them out for like modern sounds and stuff. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, I think I slide backwards off this thing. So if I run off the edge and grab, then I, I can get off backwards. And then I pull up. No, wrong. Oh, no. All right, we'll reload the level. <laughs> Oh, wait, I can't. I guess I have to die. I guess I have to die. I can't do a restart level from the menu here. All right, let's just die. What's up, Gator? Restart level is an option in PlayStation, regardless of your life status. No, wait. Restart level. What the heck? Would you say the modern controls are better for beginner? Uh, probably. I mean, may, it depends because there's also struggles here with these controls. I think it, you know, you should probably play with the tank controls yeah, as a beginner. Oh and if you're God. having issues, try the modern controls. But I don't think you're going to, I think you're going to, you're going to see that they have benefits for and against. Like there's, there's positives and negatives to both. Like. No disappointment. Uh, no, I'm honestly, I'm very happy with these uh, remasters. We did a, we try to learn the tank controls early on and, uh, or I'm sorry, the modern controls early on, and they were kind of frustrating, but I understand them now, and I'm using them pretty fluidly. I do like the camera control and the modern controls a lot, to be honest. Was I wrong about there being shotgun shells here? Honestly, it makes staying behind these guys much easier too. Um, behind the enemies, because you don't have to worry about the turn arc at all. In modern controls, you can pretty much turn as fast as you want in modern controls. Um, which is why I think it might actually replace tank controls for speedruns, but like I said, I'm not a speedrunner, so 
But the responsiveness is crazy with modern controls. It's off the charts how good it is. But the problem is um, just the accuracy of your jumps. You're going to fail some of your jumps because of the accuracy you're trading off for these uh, quick responsive controls. Which makes sense, right? The faster you are, you may actually reduce your accuracy. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong button for holding the ledge, too. Freaking what? You got jump stared by a bear and died? Why would you do that? Okay, pulling up with based on the camera is a little bit difficult and clanky and probably should be uh, fixed, but should probably need to be fixed. <laughs> that camera. So I've learned actually that your movement i believe in this is actually not based on the camera in modern controls i mean it is but not the camera as you see it it's where the camera should be if there's no obstructions in the way right so if if i'm up in a corner like this and my camera's like being all wonky like i'm not sure i was seeing it before but right like this, well, forward may not be just straight out from the corner. It may be to the left or the right because the camera is not in the right location. So if I press forward, straight forward. Oh, that seemed, that seemed to work fine, but I've just noticed that sometimes, oh, like for right now I'm pressing back. I should be going away from the corner, right? According to the camera. But if I want to get out from this corner, I got to press, I had to press forward. So it is the camera, but it's based on where the camera would be if there's no obstructions preventing it for, from being where it thinks it should be. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's pretty much what it comes down to. Laura's boobs are moving. Do they add jiggle physics? No way, man. No, they didn't. Trust me, I know boob jiggles when I see it, man. It makes me all excited. I didn't get very excited. Oh, while running? Right, man, there's just some things you don't talk about in public. All right, we'll take a look here in a second. Hold on, this is important. This is definitely something we talk about in public. All right, yeah, so I slide backwards, I pull up. I don't hold the ledge here. Oh, but I led, I, oh yeah, I slide and then I hold that jump and then I land it. All right, perfect. She almost freaking ran right out with the modern controls. Brother Chen Bakeng. See how I did a jump turn around, not expecting it to. <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh my god i get to say i get to the freaking tower and the first thing i do is die that is an oof oh my gosh
Man. TR has a now is a fast travel. <laughs> yeah. They gave a restart level to you when when you die. So in PlayStation, you can actually restart level at any point. You can just all right, let's just go back to the beginning of the level. But in this one, you have to. You have to kill yourself if you want to restart not from a save. I only got one save. <laughs> I'll save it here before too long, guys. That's why I told you to save it. If you didn't save it, shame on you. You can still lock on enemies, which is good too. That was one thing that they did in Tomb Raider 4 that I really despised was removing the uh, hmm. the lock if it goes out of sight. I'm starting to get the fluidity down of these uh, modern controls, too. How's photo mode? It's cool. I'll do I'll do a little bit of photo mode here in a second. Let me get the secret. Cause I know there's going to be a lot of people coming in and out of my stream, so they're going to be interested to see other different features. That's on has a two minute cooldown. Half tile works just like you would expect it to, even in modern controls. So that's good, man. Like they they actually enhance the move the, the movements here in two meter one. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this level over again, guy. Since we have a jump turn around now in TR1, we can abuse it. My just on the exclamation mark above items. Can you remove the in, in options? Yes. So that is um, in the options. There is action indicators. So you can turn this off. And then whenever you come up to an item, it's not going to let you know it's there. Um, it also does it for switches or anything you, that you can use action on. I'll save it just before I get into that. I should honestly save it like almost every time I go into this tower because I tend to fall. All right, let's save it. It's time for another save. Let's do a single slot playthrough, bro. I loaded it. Best streamer ever. I don't think I can get back to that spot either. I have to play from here. <laughs> That's how it's done. That's not how it's done, guys. Do not do. What's wrong with me? Yeah, I'm broke. Somebody broke the bag.
professional gamer and whoa this camera angle is messed up dude yeah that camera angle will mess you up in modern hopefully there's not a whole lot of forced camera angles like that but forced camera angles do not agree with your camera just so you're aware it looks like all forced camera angles are going to have that issue that might be a good thing it might actually not be an issue it might be a feature actually So now that I understand how these uh, this camera operates, it's actually a lot easier to get through that, that secret. I kind of understand what they did with it now, actually. I want to jump, turn around, dive. That's what I really want. Somebody needs to make that happen. I'm dude today sucks we can load from here today sucks I'm blaming the modern controls man this is not this isn't me man <laughs> You see how you see how the modern controls cause me to load my game instead of actually save it? These freaking modern controls, man. I, oh, you're yeah, I did miss that secret now that you said now that you mentioned it. Whoa, the balls have some texture now, too. Look at that. Look at the roughness of this ball. You don't want to get smacked in the face with that one. A non-smooth ball? Nah, bro, nah. So when the camera angle swaps on you, you just gotta basically not just move. It, keep going straight as if the camera would, didn't change. That's basically the, the idea there with the uh, camera changing on you. And modern controls the uh, camera if it's obstructed it's gonna move but that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna move in relation to where it's at um, you're gonna move in relation to where it thinks it should be which means you got to figure that out too Right, we're gonna skip the cutscenes we've seen them. Oh. All right. I bet Red's like save Matt. You know what? I'm not gonna save for this whole freaking level. Aye. That's why I told you to save. It. If you didn't save it, shame on you. I'm trying to freeze frame in the middle of a gunfire. But I think that this, the gunfire sprites go away. She looks badass, dude. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Like, look at this thing, dude. What are you doing, Laura? I like how she just floats in the air here. This model of Lara is spot on. I don't think I didn't I wouldn't expect anything. This is like even better than I could have possibly imagined Lara to look like. She 
She has them glutes. She needs no chair. <laughs> What's up, Dragon's Wisp? I'm honestly starting not to mind the, the modern controls since I've gotten used to them. I still wish I could play with tank controls, but I don't mind these anymore. Yeah, it's kind of hard to know where, which way your cameras should be, especially in this kind of situation. But it looks like we can uh, handstand. Yeah, we can do a handstand real quick. Let me get out of the secret. There you go. Look at it. Oh, wait, never mind. That wasn't the right one anyway. All right, we'll get we'll get it here in a second. Keep moving here. I kind of understand they don't really need the sidestep or backstep. They're nice controls for precision movements, but they're just not necessary in the modern controls. I'm starting to understand it a lot better now. Is it possible to use tank controls but remaster graphic? Yes. Yeah, so you can literally switch back and forth the graphics with a single button press. Um, but to change your controls, you just go to the options and then just change modern controls to tank controls. And roll while swan dive. Oh, yeah. Oh, they added that? That's tight. How did I, I forgot to pull the lever again. Gosh. Gosh. I'm gonna need to use a med pack here. Are there difficulty options? No, but I'm New Game Plus has always been a uh, increased difficulty. It's like basically, the enemies have more health, or your pistols do less damage. One of the two. So, there is difficulty settings for Tomb Raider, but this not like you think. It's not like a menu selected difficulty. I've already been here. Oh, dang it. Whoop. 
All right, I want to see about getting the handstand off the edge of this thing. And let's save it here, actually, as well. Save game. All right, we're going to get a handstand here. Boom! Amazing. NG plus pistols only. NG plus on Tomb Raider 2 and 3. Harpoon only. Uh, I think in Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3, when you complete the games, you get... Oh, no! I need to refill. I need to fill this. This is for that secret. Yeah, the one that somebody was mentioning I was missing. What? They blocked it off so it doesn't... Because this is normally just straight open. Yeah, this is straight open in Classic. But they try to block it off. Who is that? What the fuck is going on here? All right, we'll save it here. No, I did the freaking... Good thing I saved it. Do I still have my death counters here? <laughs> oh my God. Can I go in photo mode now? Oh, damn it. See, I'm sitting here complaining about not being able to jump backwards and then our hop backwards and then a hop backwards kills me twice. Kills me twice. What the frick? All you hundreds of you talking and chilling. Oh, Miranda versus with the raid. What's up, Miranda versus people? How'd your gameplay go? All right, we got to figure out how to get this secret with the modern controls, man. It's time to be painful. I just reloaded. I hate it defaults to 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 load. Damn. Rado Trano. <laughs> That's right. Okay, saving the game. Is there a hotkey for going into the save? I wonder if there's a quick way to do this. Rado, Trado. <laughs> you took over 12 hours, but BTR1? Nice. Cool. Damn, son. I might actually need a med pack for this. What? Dude, that camera, I'm telling you, man, the camera will screw you up in modern controls, though. That's just how it is, man. You're trying to do this super secret, super difficult secret, but yet the camera is not going to let you uh, do this correctly. Come on, man. Okay. Whoa, whoa, why is she running into a, oh my God. That is a problem. Okay, so with, okay. 
so with modern controls you know how when she so you know how with modern controls you know it's with the camera if the cameras you press forward it's going to go in the direction the camera's facing not necessarily in tomb raider with these modern controls so when i entered this room she looked at an item right but remember i was saying that the can it's based on the movements based on where the camera should be if there's no obstructions and i guess if there's no like alternative views that the game wants to give you because it's always going to be where the camera would be if it wasn't for any of that so when she looked at the guns i was sitting there trying to run around and trying to i couldn't move her correctly because she was not moving with respect to the camera almost bat death yeah man let's use a big one Now that was a clutch freaking large med pack usage. The camera, yeah, the camera, I mean, everybody's saying, oh, camera control is so superior. It's like, no, this camera controls will screw you up. They move that camera, you're screwed. It's like, and they do it often. They often move the camera on you when you're trying to move around. Okay. The camera was getting used so bad. Nice. The camera is, I think, a little bit different in this. I pulled the lever down there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. The camera is getting me good because I'm using modern controls. <laughs> can I tell you when your Switch pre-order will be playable? Yes, I can. I'll tell you here very shortly. Where do you live? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with, um, seven, eight, nine hours, nine hours from now. Oh no, my controller's broke. Okay, there we go. All right, have a good night, Miranda. Thanks for the raid. Good job on two meter one. Thoughts of playing two meter in your underwear all day? I have zero thoughts on that, brother. I'm sorry. None. I think you should do it. I think, um, yeah. Go up to Neptune first. All right, there's a there's a also a um an achievement here. What's up, everybody? What's up, Zarpos? Hawks controls—they're okay. 
they're not as bad as i don't think they're as bad as i made them out to be initially and i don't think they're that as bad as anybody is saying that just switches straight to tank controls i think that they have their they have their place here i suppose okay so the uh the achievement here is to you're supposed to surface on your last breath whatever that means i think it means that you are um you're actually draining life so we're gonna we're gonna try a couple different things here i'm gonna try it basically while my health bar by my my um breath bar is low and then if it doesn't work i'm gonna come back down and see if i can get it while i'm draining life but i may already be out of it you know i may not we get really close to Oh, well, I was draining life. I still got it. I uh, So we know at the very least that draining life does it. I'll have to experiment with that on a different account to see if I can, if it counts when you have at least some breath. <laughs> okay. We got the Neptune key. Yar. Um, I was, I've been looking at it too. This game, I could probably do this blindfolded too. Um, seems possible. There's all kinds of good stuff coming out of this playthrough. Switching the rematches and Atlanta's blindfolded, maybe. I think I got this achievement too, didn't I? Wait. There was an achievement here too, but oh I guess I didn't get it. Oh, and then the Thor room actually has two achievements. Which we're heading to next. I mean, honestly, the, the modern controls do add some value to her movements for sure. Like, I don't have to worry about, like, the curvature of her running, of her turning, or anything like that. She can just turn it instantaneously. That's a plus. I ha You know, anybody that hates on the modern controls is going to have to admit that. You know, like me. Oh, let's see. How do I do it? I don't know if I can do a false grab in modern controls. I don't think it's possible. All right, so we got to get through here without getting hit by the lightning, I guess, which is easy to do. Let's see what this looks like. That's so tight, man. Dude, I'm so glad they gave us a photo mode too. This is so freaking tight. There's so many pictures I've been wanting to take that I couldn't because I didn't have some sort of ability like this. Is there a chapter select once you complete the game once? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We're about to find out. Well, not about to, but we'll find out here before too long. And then we gotta let the box fall on our head. If I remember where it's at. Here, let me save it. Because we're gonna get this achievement. See here? Yes. Reload and jump over the ball? 
I'll just I'll probably just figure out how to do it some other time. For some reason, you're expecting that to kill her. <laughs> Look at this lighting. This is looks so good. Like like compared to classic, this is a huge improvement. What Oh, I everybody? guess you could do a false grab in modern controls if you run toward the edge, roll, so you turn around, then you flip off, you fall off, you hold you press the grab button, then hopefully she uh slides right through insane cat lady yes remasters are finally here we've been waiting forever All right. Hey, there it is. Don't let the thunder hit you in Thor's room. I didn't realize that was hard to do. Damocles. Okay, so there's there's also trophies here. One is we need to get hit by one sword. Another one is we need to drop all of the swords. Make sure uh, to turn off the UI if I'm taking screenshots. Yeah, I've been doing that. Whoa, these swords look nice. So if we need to drop all of Damocles' swords... Okay, I got hit by a sword, so we gotta try not to get hit by any more. I'm gonna use a med pack. Wait. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I only got a couple left, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Is that every sword? So all the swords have dropped, and I got hit by one single one. I think that's both of those achievements. But I guess... uh Oh, how does the game feels? It's good. It's great. It's good. It's it's literally Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider one. 
essentially is what it is. I think they may have changed a few minor things. They may have fixed a few minor things, but it's essentially the same game. Just upgraded graphics if you want. There we go. Hey, got them both. Oh, no. I'm so glad I have a, a boss life bar. So the life bars are only for the bosses. It actually doesn't work for regular enemies. Too bad I'm working early, early at local time, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I'm going to, um, wait, so, so it's too bad I'm at work this early hour at local time, blah, blah. So I'm going to have to rewatch it tonight. This will be up on YouTube. Yeah, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be on Twitch. If you want to watch some ads on YouTube, that'd be nice. <laughs> Otherwise, you can watch it ad free on Twitch. Oh, wait. Yeah, they do. Wait. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, he's gone. Literally saw him disappear. I got all the secrets. Yes. Yeah, we're good. Good to go. You got premium? Hey, that works too, man. Honestly, if you got premium, I, I get money for that too, so. So if you want to watch it on YouTube, that'd be helpful. Mm hmm. The black background bug is not patched yet. No, it's not. Support. Yeah, support. And we are in the Coliseum. I like how they show you how many pickups there are in the level two. The keys are still invisible. Oh, when she uses them? Yeah, I didn't know. I forgot about that. Dude, the, um, what is it called? Muzzle flash of her guns looks so good in this. Let's see if I can get this jump with the modern controls here. definitely more difficult because you can't really necessarily line yourself up in a particular way but there you go possible what wow, it looks so good yeah it does <laughs> one of three okay yeah i know where all the secrets are Coliseum. What's up, Point of View UK? What's up, man? How have you been, dude? Modern controls, yeah. I'm using I'm playing all three games with them, including expansions, all secrets. So far, I mean, it looks like... I, I mean, I did talk a lot of crap about the modern controls when I first started streaming, because, of course, you fail and you're like, what the hell? And there are some bad... There are some downsides to them. Um... But they're honestly not as bad as I, as I expected. They're not as uh, 
they and they actually did do i can tell that they did actually do some polishing with the controls for this uh contrary to what i said before anybody was here for that okay here we go pa pierre time pa -pa 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 pierre oh we gotta sentence 10 animals to death from the emperor's box Let's see if I can do this jump. Modern controls. This is a very particular jump for tank controls even. It's easier. Whoa, this place looks badass. Dang, son. Laura, what are you doing back there behind this monkey? This is not, no, 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 this is family friendly. Was that yoga? It increases the chances of conception. I love monkeys. Ah. Pierre looks like he's from The Sims 4. All right. So the cool thing, or one thing that so the photo mode is honestly to me, I think it's broken. I, I think it I think it kind of breaks um the game in some like it the game in some in some particular way and I'll, t I'll explain why. Let's say I'm looking for something and instead of jumping around trying to figure out what I can do, where I can go, I just literally just turn on photo mode and then I'm just like, okay, well, let's just see what's up there. Let's just see what's up there. Oh, that's the ceiling. You can literally go anywhere you want. Literally. Except for you can't go through anything that's solid. So if, you, if you're trying to get to the other side of a shut door that you haven't opened yet, you can't do it. You gotta... So this is the Emperor's box, clearly. Not to stand up here and shoot everything. Ten enemies from here? Some of them aren't even activated yet. No! Well, now they're activated. We don't want to kill him yet. Kind of forget how to play the Colosseum on a, in an actual way. I guess we can worry about killing these dudes later. We can go start uh, completing the puzzle. Lara's looks stunning. Best model IMO. I think so too, honestly. This is probably the best model of Lara I've ever seen, for sure. And it looks like they kind of closely... They kind of deviated a little bit from the AOD model, but they kind of took a lot of inspiration from it. That's what it looks like. This is where I died on my first no loads, no meds attempt, by the way, at that boulder.
Here we go. Here's hope mining is possible here and we can see other Lara models. I'm sure it's possible. Whether or not they support it is a completely different question. All right, this secret modern controls. Here we go. Oh, I gotta pull the lever first. <laughs> Wait, how come the lever didn't... Oh, how come the door didn't open? Oh, here it is, okay. Lame. <laughs> yeah, you really don't have the accuracy you really would like to have with modern controls. But it's very responsive. Yeah, bro. This is like a one shot with tank controls. Modern controls, good luck. I did it first try, but I didn't open the door. <laughs> yeah, just my luck. Son of a... Mmm, <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. Yeah, that wasn't... That was tough. I mean, tank controls, I'd be in here easily. I can do, I can do this blindfolded, for fuck's sake. <laughs> With tank controls. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> How did I open the door? There's a trigger tile. Uh, I'll show it here in a second. It's down below. The trigger tile is on this pillar right here. Right here. You stand on this, and then the door up there will open. It has a timer, yes. Let me in. Are you not in? Are you out? It'd be nice if there was a way to switch between tank and uh, modern controls on the fly. That would be freaking sweet. I think. I think it would be sweet. Because honestly, um, modern controls are nice for just kind of general running around. Not really that good for actual tomb raiding and jumping around and trying to grab ledges and stuff. But it's pretty good for like being able to like, oh yeah, I just want to so turn on a dime, dude. No! Hope this sells well before we get a 
before we get another remaster collection with uh, four, five, and si uh, six. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I think this is an this is also an amazing remaster too. Like this is, they did they did some serious justice to Tomb Raider here with this remaster. Yeah, I don't think I really needed to open any of these doors. I forget exactly how, how this puzzle goes, so I usually just go straight to the end, but... Brother Chen Bakeng. Um... I have all the secrets. Let's just end the, end the level. That's all I really want is the secrets. So there's more here. Oh, we want that achievement. Either that or I could just do it later. Let's just do it later. Honestly, I'm gonna do, um... These achievements. I'm gonna make videos for all the achievements anyway, so... You can actually hear the enemies while you're underwater now. That's cool. Also, plus the three expansions many people didn't play back then. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Whoa, look at these, uh, this texture here, man. The dolphin texture or whatever, fish texture. Yeah, I mean, once you get used to the modern controls, they're not that bad, honestly. I can understand. I, I mean, I was myself was frustrated at the very beginning trying to use them too, but now that I've been using them for a few levels, they're they're not bad. They get the job done. I'd prefer tank controls still. I'll probably I'll probably switch to them. Crocodile with thirty. How is it? How is it that Crocodile is raiding me? <laughs> he never raids me because he's always on way later than I am. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. What is up? <laughs> How am I liking it? It's amazing, man. This is a really good remaster. This is a real good remaster. We got, we got hooked up here at the Tomb Raider community. I don't need to go these ways. I don't know, honestly, I, I guess I just came in here for that ammo, but not that I'm gonna really need it, but. Okay, let's just do the level. What time is it there? It is 3.47. First three levels and liked what you saw, nice. Photo mode is good. It's a cheat, it's like cheating, man. I literally can float anywhere I want to go into in this game. So if you want to if you want to tomb raid on easy mode, go to photo mode and just look around. Where's that iron bar?
all right so there is a um there is an achievement for grabbing that unreachable med pack <laughs> It's very hard to line up for these types of jumps. Modern controls. The only thing they broke here with the modern controls, it looks like is a turn radius. <sighs> Let's do the fire room first. What? Oh, it's the first one, not the fifth. What if the glitch isn't working with the monitor controls? I think it will work. I think it should work. All right, I'm not familiar with these types of glitches because I just don't like the glitch. So this might take me a hot second to figure it out. It's something that has something to do with your angle and you just jump and then eventually you kind of get sucked up to the top. I might just switch to tank controls for this one. I don't know if anybody's got any tips or whatever, I'm down to hear them. 45 degrees and jump a lot. <laughs> okay. Letty Dragon, what is up? Near the edge as well. Can I, maybe like this, you guys think? Dang it. It's hard to get 45 degrees, by the way. I understand you guys have said 45, like four of you have said 45 degrees What's already. What's up, everybody? Um, got it. However, you have to understand, it is very difficult to be precise with modern controls. It is just very difficult. I'm not saying that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm just saying that good luck. <laughs> get off my case about the 45 degrees. I can't seem to turn myself how I want to turn myself. So I can't. Oh, here we go. Oh, do it. That's so close, man. Oh, she's sinking in there. Can you turn in place with the guns? No. no come can't. on, push the button! Yeah, come on, push the button! A little more to the left face. All right. Yeah, like I said, it's... Uh, it, I, it's very hard. I cannot do fine-tuned movements in modern controls. It's not a thing. <laughs> Just so you guys are aware. So if I want this 45 degrees, it's not going to be very easy for me to get to it. Oh. Oh. There we go. Done.
Oof. Have I tried the naked Lara cheat? <laughs> I never even knew what it was. I don't even think there would actually exist, to be honest with you. Unless you guys know about it. I doubt it works here. I'm pretty sure that was just a hoax. I don't think they actually did that. Need to do to know <laughs> tier one no loads, no meds, there all secrets to get nude Lara. That's the, that's the reward for it. That was a mod. Yeah, I think it was just a mod. How's my tomorrow going? It's going great. How's yours going? Hey, Beat Psycho. What's up, man? Letty Dragon. We got Beat Psycho, DI, Renee. Um, over there on YouTube. Whale Whale. Yeah. What is up? Yeah, I've been, I haven't been very nice to the YouTube peeps. Been giving all my love to the Twitch peeps. Kind of sore on your ankle. Oh no, twisted it on the weekend after I fell while holding your niece. Your niece is okay. Oh, good to hear, man. Hopefully, hopefully everything works out for you, dude. Sucks that when you get injured like that. Awesome, thanks, man. Not a problem, dude. Thank you. Killing Harambees? Well, you know what? If Harambee is going to mess with my kid, he's going to get shot, you know? Hey, Renee, what's up? I hate monkeys. It's the most viewers I've had on YouTube. Hey, get up there. I keep forgetting the, uh, the, so the action button, the, the button you use to climb and stuff is different in the modern controls. So it's a little, little weird, but I've gotten used to it. I feel so. Oh god, this is wild. This is wild, okay? Look, I'm pressing forward, but she's facing to the right. What the fuck? My camera says that I should be walking straight forward, but I'm going to the right instead. That, I don't understand how they expect us to do, like, lineups for this kind of stuff with this. Yeah, I really had to employ some very special tactics to do that, that I don't really expect new players to be able to do. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but... This is tough. This platforming is tough with modern control, man. I've been, like, instead of walking to the edge, I've been walking to the back and just running and jumping. I guess I could have just done this quickly. I'm kind of going slow like a noob. Oh, save and do a level skip cheat? Yeah, I forget what the code is, though. I save it anyway, because I don't want to fall off. That and Monk Gorilla. The modern controls are the same. Yeah, they're basically the same as um, Legend Underworld Anniversary, LAU. 
They're basically the same. They've just been kind of plucked out of those games, tossed in here. They did some cleaning up a little bit, and they didn't make it. They Basically, the only real benefit you're getting is this. You can do this now. But that's nice because if you need to turn a, a corner real quick and pull a lever, you're bam, you're on it. You can just be right on it. So that's cool. You can also do photo mode in classic. Classic, that's so cool, dude. Whoa, that's a glorious hole I was not expecting. Why is it above my head? Hmm. It's a glorious hole, isn't it? It's a glorious hole, isn't it? <laughs> this remastered collection is a full package of happiness. It's good. It is a good remaster. People need to pick this up for sure. If they've been wanting to play classic or if they just want to upgrade from their from classics like this is an this is a straight upgrade in my opinion this is like this this may just replace um classic tomb raider for challenges it, it remains to be seen but i'm gonna be trying to do atlantis blindfolded um next not this week coming weekend but the weekend after yeah i don't think i really need to But I'm gonna try to do Atlantis blindfolded in the. The trophies, yeah. Ugh. Freaking controls, man. All right, let's try doing this. There we go. We're gonna be turning Lara into gold here too in this level. Will I stream later today? Yeah, I'll be streaming. I'm gonna be streaming for a while, man. There's gonna be plenty of stuff for you guys to watch. There's also a ton of other people playing these. All right, let's bait like a master here. Awesome. I'm 
No! No! I'm gonna get the secret! Okay, see, the camera gets stuck sometimes, too. You can't even move it, and then it, you don't even know where it's actually facing, so you don't know what forward actually is. Ugh, hate it. Well, that Tierra water so much. I think the new looks awesome and cool, but there's just something... In old TR graphics water, yeah. Is there anything back here worth? I think it's a, a small med pack, but I don't know if it spawns an enemy. So I can't really see in the. Here it is. Now that I think about it, do you think the modern controls will fix the M16 issue, Matt? I know. I'm jumping ahead. So you're talking about the one where you can glitch the M16. I mean, if everything is, if everything is, uh, as it was, it should still glitch. I don't think they fixed it. I don't think they should have fixed it. Yes, it is kind of a messed up bug. It does kind of suck, but I don't think they should fix it personally. Cause once you start, like I said, like I keep saying, once they, once they start touching controls and doing those, you know, bug fixes and stuff, who knows what they're going to dig their fingers into to try to, well, we will increase the gamer experience and all this other crap. It's like, Beast no, you just destroyed it. This, jerk. Destroyed it. Jerk. Okay. So what I want to do, you can actually do lineup stuff here. This, even though the ca the camera sucks, I'm still gonna be make this jump. Watch this shit. That would have been hilarious if I would have <laughs> fell off <to> my death. <laughs> oh my god! Shooting in place, then running to shoot. That kind of thing. Let me, what did you say again? Oh, uh, no, I don't think they would have fixed it. I. I think that the M16 is that way, and it may be that way due to a balancing thing. It may be due that way because of a bug with the animations. I don't know that the M16 stops whenever you change your animation. Um, I don't think that they fixed it. If I'm being honest. Yeah, like stuff like that, vaulting up that kind of stuff, I think it's going to be much quicker to do with, with the modern controls. Hop back with the guns, yeah. You have to have the guns drawn in order to hop backwards, though. If you try to go back, she turns around without the guns drawn. 
And if you are running and then draw the guns, then you're still stuck with it. But you have you have to come to a complete stop before she actually yeah, before she actually starts using the different moves. It's kind of weird and it is not very fluid. I think it, you can get used to it though. I think you could get used to it. All right, so my camera is completely jacked up, but forward to me, forward on the analog stick is directly to the right. So if I press down, then I'll walk back this way and then I can press forward again to do the actual run and jump without having to worry about the freaking camera. So they actually, you know, it's a benefit that the she doesn't move with the camera sometimes, but other times it is like, oh my God, how, how am I gonna control this lady? I love how there's sound underwater now too. They dampen the sound a little bit. Telly ho, I like it so far. Best Valentine's gift to see you playing this finally. Yeah, it's badass, isn't it? Um, I'm doing well. These remasters are solid. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, are you kidding me? I never saved it. I saved it here. This isn't too far. Hey, do I have a death counter? Did anybody count that? that? Was that death counted? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think my last death was counted though. Yeah, we should be at 11. Thanks, man. He raids 29. Camera is sort of sporadic. So you, your controls may or may not be affected by the sporadic camera. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What have we here? Who the hell? Guys, this is pornography. All right, kids, revert your eyes. <clears throat> what do they look like here? Yeah, I don't see any ball sacks here. All right, <laughs> let's go. So let's grab our genitals. It's a PG stream, motherfuckers. Or is it, this is a general admission. All right, this is general admission, motherfuckers. <laughs> 2D prawn. <laughs> Uh, nice. Oh, we just go down here.
All right, we gotta kill some stuff, get a secret. I'll save it after, I'll, I'll probably save it here before too long, guys, so we don't have to worry about that kind of crap. Okay, that camera will screw with you, brothers. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to tell, like when the, f it's hard to tell which way's forward, man, I'm telling you. It, it's super difficult. The sporadic camera is a problem for these controls. There we go. <laughs> there, maybe if I just align the camera a little bit better, that would uh, solve a lot of the issue. Is that Gorilla still up? Sounds, oh, he might be the one down below. can't play the modern controls for your sanity <laughs> yeah it, it, it there's a learning curve if, if you're coming from tank controls i'm sure there's going to be a learning curve also if you're new um some jumps will just be easier with tank controls you, you're just going to have to if you can't do it with modern switch to tank but um, i think most people are going to be playing with modern controls in, or i think most people will play with tank controls anyway I'm trying to do this game with modern controls so I can understand and give pointers for a walkthrough and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know a trick for how to prepare a full running long jump? Apparently it involves walking to the ledge, then walking three steps backwards. That gives you enough distance to perform a long jump, camera issues notwithstanding. Um, but the thing is you can't... Maybe if you, you can't do a back step, so maybe you're talking about a forward step. So if I do one, if I do three, I'm going over. Yeah, I don't think, uh, because if I, I can't, I can't do a back step. You see what I'm saying? Not without my guns. I guess you could do it with the guns. I guess three would work. She doesn't continuously walk backwards either. Yeah, three would work. Interesting. Thanks, Bowies. I know you've been around here before, Bowies. I think you were here before I left, right? Uh, even the back button on the D-pad? Yeah, it's the same. Um, it's all the same stuff. This is just modern controls, though. Tank controls don't have that issue. Tank controls are just as like they are regular. Classic. Yeah, the D-pad's the same. I have to have the guns drawn in order to do it. Which, I'm not sure how that's going to work when I get to Natla's Mines. It probably doesn't. No! Oh my god! These modern controls, though, bro. <laughs> These modern controls, That's why I told you though, to bro. Save. If you didn't save it, shame on you. They do screw with you. 
Yeah, I think all the people who were complaining about the tank controls who are, were waiting for this remaster and trying out the uh, modern controls, I think they're going to have uh, a little bit of um, a taste of, you know, some reality here because these while these controls um, work and you can definitely play the game, it's not like they're necessarily easier than tank controls because of all the different nuances that we have in this game. So if I want to do a run and jump, I can just do one, two. It takes forever though. But yeah, that works. That does work. No! What the frick is going on here? Oh, modern controls, that's one. Can't play two meter. I wonder how the lava will look. It looks gorgeous. I was actually watching some streams before and it was actually really there was other people that had um, got really early access to the full game. Yeah, we can make it work. We can make uh we can make modern controls work, man. I think this is gonna be a great walkthrough too. Um Yeah. I'm gonna be making a pretty badass walkthrough, I think. How's the game so far? It's amazing. If you guys don't own this yet, you guys need to buy it. Especially being Tomb Raider fans, this is this is one of the best remasters you're ever going to find. This is honestly one of the best remasters you're ever going to find. That includes for all different games, man. If you're yeah, if you're a Tomb Raider fan, especially if you're a classic Tomb Raider fan, you should buy it. Hands down, you'll enjoy it. You want a physical copy for your shelf? Yeah, as soon, if they ever drop a physical copy, I'm picking one up too. I'd probably get it for Switch. Get a physical for Switch. Which TR is my favorite one? My favorite one is Tomb Raider 2, my friend. Oh, has the most nostalgia. I do I do uh, concede that Tomb Raider 3 is, is top tier Tomb Raider. Like, it's just a be better Tomb Raider game. But Tomb Raider 2 provides the most nostalgia for me. Because I think whenever I learned about Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 1 had already been released for, you know, a while, and then um, Tomb Raider 2 was just about to re be released, so we kind of swapped over pretty dang quick and did a lot of Tomb Raider 2. How the modern controls for me? They're alright. They're alright. Okay, wow. They do, they are confusing. Like the camera can be sporadic at times. Fortunately, they have a fix for a sporadic camera in that you don't, you don't actually move when the camera goes crazy in the direction of the camera, which is great. However, that does throw you off when the camera is being sporadic, but you don't, you're trying to move. You're trying to change direction. Then it gets kind of wonky. I'm going to save it here after I get this lead bar. The last lead bar, then we can go uh, turn it to gold.
Whoa, quit turning on me. Come on, I'm just trying to bait. I'm just trying to bait over here. Anybody want to bait with me? Yeah, you? Awesome. BBC gang. Come here. All right, there's one over there, man. I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid of them. He's going to come up and get me when I least expect it. Okay, there's going to be like 12 more gorillas. It's monkey overload in this level, man. Can't wait to get a copy of it. Yeah. I highly recommend for any uh, classic Tomb Raider guys. This has been amazing so far. We need an AOD remake, yeah. Now that even a remaster, we need a remake. They need to honestly need to give that game the justice it deserves. It's actually a pretty decent Tomb Raider game with a bunch of bugs that if it just was ironed out, it'd be actually a really freaking good game. Really good Tomb Raider game. They need a, I, they were supposed to do a trilogy, weren't they? Hey, here it is. Uh, it's about take a close look at the ancient time device. So there's a sundial here and you just gotta take a stand on it, I guess, I don't know. my favorite secret <laughs> the clang clang doors sound different god damn it freaking i wish there was a, a way to default to the save instead of the load i should just save in mul it doesn't matter if i save multiple slots or not honestly Get this gangbang, bro. You just bought the remasters? Awesome. That's why keyboard wins. I'm sorry, could you elaborate on that, Natalia? It, it, the context, I lost the context of the conversation there. Happens. Oh, press F5 to save, is that? Hey, works here too. Okay, cool. And F7, F8, F4, what's the uh, load? Is there, isn't there a load option? It's not F6. F9, ah, okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Thank you so much, Natalia, appreciate that. It looks like when you press a key on the keyboard, if you're using a controller on the PC, when you press the keyboard, um, when you press the keyboard, it looks like it, it switches over to keyboard and does, it, it doesn't accept the inputs for a split second with your controller. So be prepared for that. Good morning, Robson Calvary. Yeah, everything it would be hoped it would be Cicada X. Yeah, this game, this remaster, they blew it. They blew it out the water with this. Like I said, I was all I really was hoping for was upgraded graphics and being able to run on modern systems. They clearly did that. They have the achievements. Um, even the modern controls aren't that bad. 
Oh, you know what? I bet we might be able to do that. Is there is there a diving achievement for two meter one? Or is that just two meter two? So we were talking about that. Does the PC mouse work? Yep. Sure does. Anybody? Yeah, if you guys want me to try stuff out, feel free to ask. If I, uh, I'll definitely try some stuff out here for those of you who don't have access yet or don't have the game yet. Can you roll while jumping? Yes, that is now a TR1 thing. You can also um, jump whenever you want. You don't have to wait on her footsteps in two meter one. Okay, okay. Natalia, thank you for reminding me about F5, F9. Did this not ding for me? Oh no, it dinged when I came in. I didn't actually have to come in here to grab the items. Okay. That's right. No loads, no meds. This, this strat is literally just avoid the clank. Don't even go through the clank clank. So you just cue it and leave. Thanks to Embracer because they bought uh, this is real and we playing these games nowadays. Thanks to Embracer because they bought or got the source code for these TR games. They have so source code from tier one to tier six. They should have. I mean, they own. I guess they own Crystal Dynamics now. Oh, bro. You know what time it is? I think Embracer Group also owns um, Crystal Dynamics now. Dude, this hand isn't even golden. Oh, I guess it was sand looking, yeah. This looks badass. We're gonna turn Lara into gold here in a second. It's tight. Okay, let's turn uh, let's save it real quick. Oops. Oh, when you go to the menu, the music goes off. That sucks. You haven't missed it. We're about to turn. I'm going to turn these bricks into gold, and then I'm going to turn Lara into gold. Look through the hole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is with these sprites? They use the same sprites from the class from... <gasps> they didn't remaster the sparkle of Midas's hand. I want my money back. I already played for two hours though, didn't I? Damn it. That's you lame. That's a that's that no go, no man. I don't ever want to play remasters again. Okay. I forgot to save it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's a we're gonna do it again here that was a death I have to accidentally pressed a button <laughs> that's so cool dude all right there we go there's your uh I still gotta convert the lead bars, so I forgot to save after. But yeah, man, this sparkle sprites, they forgot something.
Ouch. Hey, Coco, thank you so much for the two bucks over there on YouTube. Appreciate that. Stoked to get off work soon and get these going. Yeah, man. I got oh, all the secrets. Yeah. Can we just end the level? We can. Keeping it classic, keeping the modern style. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I can't stress enough just how happy I am with these remasters, man. This is so badass. They even have, they even have, you know, pornography. That's so good. I mean, if you don't, if you don't get the remasters for the upgraded graphics and gameplay and all that stuff, at least buy it for the pornography. Come on, guys. Good night, Schmick Sam. Thanks for coming by. So let's grab our genitals. Honestly, I think I think people should play with modern controls on. I think they should try it out. Get used to it. Get a good feel for it. Um, you should at least try it. I mean, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. I think that people just aren't giving it a chance. They're just like, oh, I'm just a cla I'm just a yeah. tank control. Well, you know, that's just like yeah, yeah it's uh, my opinion. But it's not bad, your guys. Opinion, man. I prefer tank. Don't get me wrong. I prefer tank. I'd much rather use tank. Modern controls, though, I feel like they have their place in this. Whoa, Joseph Luciano with the thirteen ninety nine over on YouTube. Had to take off work tomorrow just so I could play it all day. You are the goat, Matt. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Joseph. Appreciate that, man. By the way, there's probably a ton of people here that have not been to my channel before. You guys should, if you like Tomb Raider, you should definitely check out my channel. I do Tomb Raider blindfolded and stuff like that. I'm actually in the middle of blindfolded playthrough of this game. Um... I was doing the classic version, obviously, but I'm in Atlantis, all the way to Atlantis. We've got two more levels left before I've completed this game blindfolded. I also do no loads, no meds, and I do other challenges like uh, with other games and stuff. So anyway. Hey, this was the first level I did when I came back blindfolded. Time to hit the store today. Get my copy for this P PS5. Nice to see you again. Well, by the way, there is no physical copy of this game. So if you are you said store, just make sure you're talking about a digital store. <laughs> just making sure, buddy. Making sure you understand. Whoa, they put puddles in the cistern. Yeah, you can jump twist now. Um, you can jump whenever you want. You don't have to wait for the extra step in TR1. They fixed it. And those are welcome changes, in my opinion. Uh, oh, you know one thing we didn't try? I heard somebody talking about how they implemented TR4 and 5 controls. Let's see if that's true. Nah, can't go around the corner, buddy. None of that.
Uh, I think I'm going to want to grab those shotgun shells. How did I miss that? I guess I have to go get the shotgun shells now. Let's get the secret, by the way. Oh, Joseph Luciano with another 14 bucks. Thank you so much. Can we please have the Clang Clang Gang a thing? What is the Clang Clang Gang? Oh God, I can't see. Matt, do you care about donations? Um, just asking someone a question. I mean, I do. I need to survive. I need to, um, you know, keep my thing going. So yeah, I mean, everything helps. I absolutely, I do care about donations. I don't really harp on it because it's, I just don't like the idea of me streaming and constantly annoying you guys to help support me and all this other stuff. Um, plus I'm not exactly a hundred percenting my, uh, stream, my streaming career right now. Cause I've got another project I'm working on. So I'm just not even, I'm not, just not worried too much about it, but I, yes, I do need donations. I do need, need your support. Okay. Oh, I don't didn't want to fall off there. Stupid man thing. Vegetation mod. They could have probably added some more vegetation this. But I don't think that there's a much vegetation in the classic anyway. Let's play in classic mode for a little bit. Just go. It's really hard, honestly, because the frame rate drops and I feel like I don't have the same amount of um, response time because of it. There we go. Let's save it in case something crazy happens. Joseph Luciano, 70 bucks, brother. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, man. Damn. I appreciate that support, my friend. Good thing I have the PS app on my phone downloading it as we speak. Thanks, you're welcome. Wow, nice tier. What's up, Nart Wumar? Damn. <laughs> you see how sometimes these modern control. I mean, maybe I just need to get used to it a little bit better, but. Okay. Epic support. That is epic. I just stopped uh, playing myself and I was so bad at it for some reason, even though I played the OG game so many times. Really? I'm kind of killing it over here, man. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. So when you roll, oh my God, I just learned something about the uh, modern controls here. When you roll, it places the camera directly behind you. And it appears that it would also do that um, like this, even if you're up against a wall, it'll, the camera is legitimately behind me. So forward is literally straight behind me so I can at that changes a lot when it comes to these uh modern controls too that's pretty badass that changes a lot when it comes to trying to get lined up for stuff
Okay, so let me save it here. Because I, I heard that the, the jump grab doesn't really work here. That's one thing I heard that they broke, and it's true. Uh, but possible a blindfold remasters with modern controls? I don't know. I haven't I haven't played it enough to understand. Yeah, they kind of broke that. I kind of wanted to also check the false grab. So there is a way to get these without. There is no sidestep. That's right. I can sidestep with the pistols. No, I can't. There's no sidestepping at all with the uh, modern controls. So. If I want to take a sidestep out to this a little bit, I can't really do it, can I? Yeah, they broke the they broke kind of the jump grab slide thing. That's one thing that they broke. A side jump with guns. Yeah, the thing is though, you need to be off to the side. So that's that's exactly what I was trying to do here. All right, I'll see you guys. Which back kind of, at that I spot. guess I could angle it. All right, guys, I'm back at this spot. Yeah, that's the problem there. We're counting these deaths, right? Thank you so much, Manuel. So I need to be one step off to the right, but I can't do that in modern controls. I guess I could do it that way. This might work. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's see if the false grab works here. How can I even do a false grab? Okay, so I can, uh... Nope. So, yeah, I think if you angle it, it'll work too. If you go, like, up against here, you could probably angle it, like, outward. Kind of like this. But then again, like I said, it's really hard to get those fine-tuned movements in modern controls. There we go. That should work fine. Nope. I'm not even sure how I'd do a false grab with modern controls. More 45? to know <laughs> these are tough R modern problems require modern solutions yes yeah iffy I'll at least save it here because I'm gonna try to I want to try to do a false grab to the ledge below because I don't know that it's gonna be possible to do a false grab we're about to find out at least whether or not I can do one or not <laughs> that's for sure Okay, so. Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure how I would do a false grab with the modern controls. If anybody else can figure that one out, get back to me. Keep the grab button and watch over the. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Or make it more like the previous ones is a toss up. Yeah, man. Okay, so. Uh, let's see if I let's see if a false grab even works real quick with monitor with tank controls. Okay, I gotta remember I'm got tank controls now. Oh my god, it's such a it's a different game, dudes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it works. Okay. You're good to go with the tank controls on that thing. Now when it comes to jumping into that cubby with the tank controls, I don't know if that's possible because I was saw I was watching somebody else play. And they were they were using tank controls and they weren't able to get it. Oh man, that's not there. <laughs> All right, we're going back to modern controls. I'm so used to the modern controls now that I can't even play with tank controls right now. LOL.
What's up, everybody? I'll have trouble with blindfolded after modern controls, but it won't take me long to switch to kind of realign my myself. It usually doesn't take me long to figure out controls. Like I was, um, you know, as a growing up, I used WASD for my movements a lot for computer. Um, but eventually I switched over to ESDF and bros. ESDF is just where it needs to be. Okay. It's just where it needs to be. A lot of people complain about the position of the control key with ESDF, but I tell you what, that is a terrible argument. The control key can also be moved. Yeah. I don't like well, the current you know, keyboard layout, by like, the way. The QWERTY. Uh, your opinion, man. That's just like, uh, it's super dark and down in here. Oh, dude, yeah. So let's check out some, uh, some camera action here right now. Awesome game. It is awesome. You guys need to buy the freaking remaster. D make six legend uh, and underworld. Somebody did D make uh, legend. <laughs> so this is kind of if you want a tomb raid, just use the camera. The camera will I was looking for Pierre. I guess he's not spawned until you get up to a particular location. Anyway. No limits. The only limits is physical barriers. Like you can't go through a door, or, you know, if the door is shut, you can't go through it. Camera. Oh, here we go. We got some people over here. Um, what? Kind of dark and i don't know how to turn up the brightness um let's see about that this is just controls yeah i don't think there's a brightness setting on here man you may just have to turn up the brightness on your monitor or your tv hey matt please tell me you're not like young defiant i don't know who young defiant is i've never heard of him no i'm sorry i've not heard of this person can you roll off or for a false grab oh uh I don't think so because the way that the way that the modern controls work is you don't even have to hold action to hold the let onto the ledge. No. Oh my goodness. So with the modern controls, you don't have to hold action to hold onto a ledge. You simply press the secondary button. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I need more coffee guys. I will be right back. I'm sorry, I'm going to leave you in the middle of a conversation piece. I need to be right back. I almost peed myself. Brother Chen Barking. Oh snap, my coffee! Oh my god! <laughs>
All right, I'll see you guys back at that spot. All right, guys, I'm back at this spot. All right, I'm back. Okay, I'm about to die to Pierre. We're gonna make sure that does not work. Been watching your whole TR walkthroughs and thanks to you, to you bro. Uh, thank you, bro. Don't let nobody stop what you're doing. Keep this content coming. I appreciate the TR love a lot. But people forget. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not muted. You guys can see me. All right. Dang. I was, well, actually wanted to freeze him in here. Oh, that's right. We can. We just leave. <laughs> My bad. The camera can be a little wonky for this. Thank you. You have friends? <laughs> Would I play TR Sabatu's TR one or two with modern controls? I'd probably play his TR two with modern controls if it was if you know if I had to. I mean, I like I said, I still prefer tank controls, but uh, modern controls are not bad. Honestly, they're not as they're not as bad as I thought they would be. They're not as bad as I made them seem when I first started playing just now. I like how her she actually has fingers now. She just doesn't have the stump of a hand coming off the end of her arm. Dang it. There we go. Perfect.
they really did a nice little number here on this little area here. <laughs> nice tiny little number. They actually gave it some some uh, detail. Wow, that's cool. There, this is what I really want. This is what I really want. The system looks amazing after flooding, yeah. This is pretty good. Hey, Aditya, uh, Joshi, what's going on? Oops. Dude, turning in water is so easy in, in with the modern controls. Like you just lit you literally turn on a dime. I mean, I ha anybody that hates the modern controls has to admit that they're more responsive. This is the bottom line. They're just way more responsive than tank controls. I mean, that's just the nature of the controls though. It's a lot easier to stop and move around on the item in the water too and be like, oh no, this is where I want to be. Wow, the color. Yeah, it's pretty badass, isn't it? Pretty badass. Imagine huge rats like these in real life. I will pass. You can imagine all the rats you want, good sir. Does it feel like a brand new game? It feels like Tomb Raider. It feels like a different way of playing it with the modern controls, and then it definitely feels like a different... I mean, it, I guess the, the areas don't really feel different to me. But it's a good remaster for sure. You're a big fan, B Psycho. Thanks a lot, man. Just got your hands on the remasters. Was worried that they might not work on my Linux environment, but they are pretty fluid. Good. So it works on Linux too. Does Steam work on Linux? Because I played them so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this doesn't necessarily feel like a new game because I know exactly where to go and what to do. But I don't. I don't know how to describe what it feels like it feels like they did a really freaking good job with the remasters what it feels like man <laughs> this is top tier uh, this is a top tier remaster we got hooked up dude and you know what's one of the things too is that people are always you know we've been asking for these for years and i'm glad that they waited so long because we have as much we have all out new technology in this stuff or whatever no come on can i please have my camera back there we go. Worth every cent. Yeah, this is, uh, honestly, they could have easily charged 40 bucks for this. I would have paid for it. I would have paid 40. <laughs> I 
I have all the secrets, yeah? I do. Okay, we're gonna get the Magnum stuff at, up above. That's good stuff. The remasters that we needed, the remasters that we deserved. Yeah. The Steam Deck uses Linux. Oh, okay. Interesting. Chocolate milks. Do you feel like they would have eventually rematched her four and five? I figured those would take longer to remaster since they're longer games. It in-game cutscenes. I don't think the in-game cutscenes are bear any weight to the time that it's going to take them to make these remasters. Uh, to answer the first question, do I feel like they'll eventually remaster four and five? If this remaster does well enough, yes. Right, they're a company, they wanna make money, they're gonna project how well they think four and five remaster will do based on the performance of this one, right? And so a company making that decision, it depends. And it depends on the profit margin, right? What am I playing on PC? Um, to get to the other part here, I fear it would take longer since they're longer games with in-game cutscenes. So Tomb Raider 5 is definitively the shortest Tomb Raider game. When it comes to in-game cutscenes, they're just rendering in-game graphics that they're updating anyway for just in-game play, in-game gameplay. So I don't think that the, the length of those cutscenes is going to matter. It just depends on how much detail they want to put in the environment, I think is all that's really going to matter. Uh, BCI remaster would be so much fun. Oh, I agree. Okay, I got all the secrets. Next level. We're now in Tomb of Teokan. Let me just go ahead and save it. That's load. They're safe. Gotta double check that. <laughs> what well, do the pre rendered cutscenes look like in the remaster? Uh, they're the same. Pre-rendered FMVs are the same FMVs they had in Classic. Whoa, Joseph, with another 28 bucks. Dude, bro, you've been super supportive. Thank you so much. Super legendary support. Dude, when we get to Natla's Mines, I think what I want to do is save it at the very beginning, switch over to tank controls, and just try to blindfold it. We're gonna do we're gonna do Natla's Mines blindfolded since that's the uh, uh, most recent blindfold run I've done. We'll see how far I can get in the remaster. Although I need to make sure that I restart and play it normally because I need all the secrets. The action button doesn't work for you. If you're using modern controls, you want to switch to tank controls. Um, the action button, so I had this issue too, honestly. The action button um, and the secondary button is basically the same action button in Tomb Raider 1 just split up. The secondary button on modern controls is your grab, it's your shoot, okay? Action on modern controls is your pickup items, use, of, use levers. I don't know why they separate it. It's definitely, I, I, I don't know why they separate it. I guess the argument is that, well, that's what they, how they had it in LAU. And it's like, well, why in LAU, why did they combine them? I guess there's a reason for it, but why didn't, why didn't they combine them at least for this, for this uh, remaster either? That's another question. Um, so yeah, you got to look in your controls for your secondary button. If you're using modern controls, if you're using tank controls, then uh, you're going to want to then you don't, shouldn't have to worry about it. should be normal tank controls. Okay, thanks a lot, Manuel, for D-Duty. I'll uh, take it from here, then, if nobody else steps up. Glad the minor controls are optional. Yeah, me too. Trust me. Come on, motherfucker. 
Oh, let's turn off this music that I was playing while I was gone. Oh, that's freaked me out for a second. The details are good. It's hard to see the items though. There's magnums right here. It's hard to see, but if you turn on, you know what's a nice thing though, is if you turn on your classic graphics, you can see them, you can see stuff pretty easily. You know, the uh, the graphic swap is amazing, and I'm so glad it's in here. But you know what? It's kind of not necessary. It's just there to kind of show off, but I think that it's it does make it a, bit, a better experience. See, getting through stuff like that with a modern controls, like clang clang, you're facing the wrong way. It's just so much easier for you to just turn and do that thing. Like modern controls, I, I have to admit, they're. I keep saying this over and over again, really repeating myself, but honestly, it's uh, they're not bad. Damn it! I say as I miss the ledge. <laughs> I think everybody should play the game at least once through with the modern controls just to get used to it. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Draw guns and we'll take three steps back. No. Takes forever though. Let me save it here because this jump is iffy. Oh, I gotta flood this thing, don't I? Or should we try? I'm should I try? I don't know if I want to try the banana jump. I'm sure it works. Let's just do it normally. Aspira made this remasters with love and passion and respect the core design's legacy with the essence and charm. Yes, I agree. Joseph Lucian with another seven bucks over on YouTube. Dude, thank you so much for the amazing support. My favorite TR level of all time is All Hallows. Please don't hate me. <laughs> I don't hate you, man. You just don't start with any, any uh, weapons, at least not in the PlayStation version. Thank you. 
if we could have something between tank controls and these controls, just something in between the two, that I feel like this would be a, the perfect setup. If somehow we can have the responsiveness of these uh, modern controls with the precision accuracy of the tank controls, that would be so freaking crazy. It's nice to see fans working on the games too. Yeah. Indeed. Imagine if they made a new game with the old style It'd go along with the reboots as well. That'd be sweet. I don't think that Crystal Dynamics likes the likes classic TR though. I think they hate it. No, 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 no. There goes that. Uh, we don't have a death That's counter right now. Save it. If you didn't save it, shame on you. Yeah, I don't think I have any of my mods here. Ouch. Mako Zombie, what's going on? How have you been? All right, I need to get the D plus going here. Crystal Dynamics thinks these games are racist. Yeah, they, they made that clear yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know, man. This erasure of culture is is needs to stop. Like they're it's a good that they didn't freaking take the stuff out. Um because they're just gonna erase some of this stuff, man. Like it's not just cause it's it's not racist, man. It's not racist, okay? fail honestly fail to see why that warning was added well i understand i mean if you look at there's there's some reasons for it you can you can see what you can totally under see why they have this mentality if you take a look at coastal you know coastal village the uh, south pacific islands but it's a completely imaginary made up group of people You know, it's like you guys, you guys have uh, heard of, I don't know if you guys have heard of Lando Lakes butter. There's a brand of butter called Lando, Lando Lakes and their emblem used to be an Indian on the middle. You know, it's like a feather coming up and they're, well, I should say Native American. Um, and they're like in leather, brown leather, you know, looking like a regular old Native American just sitting there and on some land, got the sky back there. It looks really nice. It used to be their emblem, but they got rid of the Indian because, or they got rid of the Native American because of the out, the backlash regarding racism and stuff. So they ended up removing and deleting the um, Native American off of the brand. If you go look up Lando Lakes butter, you won't see the, the, the Native American on the product anymore. That is an erasure, man. That completely, now we don't even know, now we don't even have a reference. We don't have anything to reference. You just erased their culture from your product. And the name of racism, how does that make any sense at all? It doesn't.
They're afraid the tribe is coming for them to chew them up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're cannibals, but like, you encounter a cannibal and he doesn't kill you. He's the, kind of the point. Pick any outfit for Lara and like NG Plus, that'd be bad. I, they may do something like that. I don't think anybody has completed and checked it out yet. Oh my god. The run and jump pattern on that is so easy now with the modern controls. Hey man, after this live stream, will I upload it? The, up the, the streams persist. So yeah, the, it'll be on YouTube. You can watch it whenever you want and the live replay chat will still be there too. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I think that releases a Gorilla. I think I'm about to get gorilla -ed. The Gorilla. Look at this nice texture update detail they did. monkeys how many don't you get per minute or five minutes of watching that's like a dunk a minute Aunt Jemima. Yeah, that was another one. I really don't want to talk on those topics. This isn't a, really a channel for those topics, so. I do care about them, and I do have uh, a pretty strong opinions about them, so I'm down to talk to anybody if they want to talk, but we're not. my streams are not for that. My streams are for here to have fun and make fun of people. and tell gaming companies how bad they are at making games. That's what this channel is all about. Really. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even see that. I, I didn't even see that key there. It's probably a good thing they did add the action indicators. For this because that key I didn't see it on the floor man what they really should do instead is just give the um, 3d I items 3d sprites an outline so those action indicators are probably a good addition I'll probably keep I'll keep them off while I play cuz whatever but oh man I thought that was milk. How long will I stream today? I have no idea, brother. All right, I have one more secret left. Yeah, okay. One more to go. Oh, it's over here. That's right. <laughs> Almost missed it. No, I did miss it. No, I did not miss it. Let's save it. <laughs> missed it. No, I missed it. I didn't miss it. Missed it. No. Got it. Uh, Crystal Dynamics, they prefer ignoring that Legacy of Kane exists. I hate them. Yeah, exactly. That's also another franchise I heard that they kind of... Oh, bro. How am I... Okay. Good thing I saved.
Not, not bad. It's easy, man. Find all secrets in Greece. I got that achievement for Peru, didn't I? Which is why modern games need to increase there's so much detail in the graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new controls look, look nice that you've been using tanks so far. The new controls are not bad. It takes a second to get used to them. I, I gave them a lot of trash talk when I first started using them today. But they're not bad, man. They actually get the job done. Um, I would prefer tank controls. Um, modern controls, um, they're very responsive. Like Lara Croft is very responsive with the uh, modern controls. Um, and it does add a nice little uh, dynamic to the gameplay, which is why I think people should try it, give it a give it a shot. Whoa, okay, we're gonna let this guy live because that's a uh, an achievement. I haven't heard that last part of that saying for so long because my emulator's bugged out. Let's see if we can get this guy to bug out into the door. No, you, you leave. No, you go. I don't know. Okay, I'm done. I'm done trying. It's time for him to die. Cool, man. The prize giving. Tomb Raider takes you back to a better time in your life. Oh, what's up, everybody? Lots of nostalgia packed into these games, man. Lots of nostalgia. All right, we got through um, Greece. We're going to Egypt, guys. One of the two just rulers of I like how they use the same font they use in tier three. After the curse of the continent had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands. You can actually see the hier hieroglyphs. And his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly to Hoken. They use the same keyframe animations for these as well, which is freaking awesome. Let centaurs live in Greece. Got that achievement. Here's your uh, FMV. I don't know why it's stuttering. I hear it too.
Sorry for the stuttering. I don't know what the deal is. It's the remix. Wiki wiki. Tiny bit scratched. <laughs> oh, you think they may have done this on purpose to make it seem like... <laughs> That's hilarious. Whoa! Look at the graphic! Bro, 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 bro. Here we are. Dude, we're about to encounter some crazy nuts guys. What do you know about crazy nuts guys? Save crystals are a new game plus. Interesting. Just ready for the Skidoo theme in TR2. Oh, man. Yeah. I made a pretty cool remix. Hey there, I have a dumb question. I just started the remastered version. This is the second. It is the second secret in the first level of tier one bugged. I can't get to it. So that secret, even in the classics, is an issue to get. You have to walk forward up to it. Um, pressing forward and then hold your jump, your action button, um, and she will jump and grab. But you have to be all the way against the to the left side of the wall. You cannot just do a regular jump and grab. You have to use forward and action to grab that ledge. Hopefully that helps you out, Denokachi. Joseph Luciano back again. Passable Banny Bader. Wow, they march you. Uh, I'm not sure why they would do that. <laughs> they march you, Joseph. That's weird. Two hours now. I've been playing with your one does. Hmm, weird. Yeah, it's just forward action. It worked for me. I don't know if you're using modern controls. If you're using modern control controls, it's forward and right bump, right trigger. Forward and right trigger. Yo. That's so cool, man. Check out the crazy nuts guy. Check out the crazy nuts on this crazy nuts guy. It's a glorious hole. Bro, those teeth. Oh man, I can't wait to see the, the bacon Atlanteans. No ass. <laughs> he has no flesh. What do you expect? Come on, he's self-conscious about his ass. We can't sit here and talk to him about it. Did you guys see that? <laughs> that was awesome. And they actually explode now. They may have actually fixed that. Because we know, at least on the PlayStation version, the version that I use, the greatest hits version, when you kill an Atlantean, in this particular level, for some reason, they don't actually explode, or they, they pop, and they spread out, but the pieces don't explode. They explode already yeah they've always exploded it's just in this in this level they explode but they didn't actually uh pop they didn't actually like when the pieces hit the ground they didn't explode but it looks like they do that now which is awesome
you're doing you're doing you're doing it wrong uh the bot you may the bot may not recognize you the bots you'll have to forgive the bot my friend beef yourself up first too I'm getting all kinds of pickups, man. I wish I had this pickup. Uh, I wish I had all these pickups in my blindfold run. Well, then, I guess I'll uh, take the damage then. Are there any updated sounds? They kind of refiltered and remastered the sounds, but they're all the same sound effects. Footsteps, gunfire, water, diving, all that stuff is all the same. Which is good. I'm glad they didn't change it because that those sounds are like, you know, ingrained in our brains. So on PlayStation, I'm playing on PC. Hi, it's my first time on stream. Are you an OG fan or new to the game? I'm OG. I mean, I play this game blindfolded for fuck's sake, so. We're about to actually, when I get to Natla's Mines, we're about, I'm gonna play that level blindfolded because it's the most recent one I've done that I'm most familiar with. So uh, I'm gonna switch over to the tank controls for that though. Uh, you bought on PS5, but also PC just for the TL release. I don't think that they have a mod. In, they don't, I don't think they added a modder. I wish they would have. That would have been awesome. <laughs> Not so secret a secret ever. This dude been posted since 2007. It was uh, 2009. 2009 is when I actually started my channel. Wait, really? Wow, new follower. Yeah. We're going to do some blindfold action here in, in the remasters, guys, when I get to Nightless Mines. Blindfolded in HD. <laughs> hey, Brabica's here. Awesome. I don't think I've died to a boulder, so. I'm at work, but stop by to say hello. Hello. I was born one year before the first game was met game but managed to play tr2 when i was a kid yeah nice <laughs> graphics are beautiful they did this is so yeah there's this is an uh, honestly a really good remake guys if you guys have been waiting for some tomb raider stuff this is this is the one you've been waiting for
This guy's gonna take forever. House controls, they're okay. I prefer tank controls still. I don't think they're as terrible as people have made them out to be. Not as terrible as I made them out to be at the beginning of the stream, but they, uh, they're okay. Um, they have their down set, they have their downfalls. They do kind of make up for how the tank controls lack, but also the tank controls make up for how these lack. So it's like, if there was some way to have a control scheme in between the two, I feel like it would be perfect. Imagine hating on modern controls. <laughs> They're not bad. I like the, I like the responsiveness of them. Modern controls really brought the worst in you. Yeah. They're not bad. I mean, I've died 16 times so far on my playthrough with them. Honestly, they're not all due to a bad controls, so. So how do I, what do I want to do? I want to, if I would go in a, ah, okay. I have a wall here anyway. You want to never play the DLC, so you're super excited? Nice, yeah, I've got walkthroughs on those two on my channel, but I'm going to be redoing all those walkthroughs with this update. Whoa! Right now the camera's whack though. Okay, I think I'm good. You gotta be careful angling your camera up and down with modern controls in this. When you're like by a wall and all this other stuff, you're in like in a corridor, cause that's really when the camera starts messing with you. Oh, wrong button. Because I'm playing with the modern controls, man. You can kind of do that that run back turnaround thing for a run and jump too, so. Will I do as before? Is it not without a camera? Yeah, it's going to be without a camera. Okay. One more secret. Um. Yeah, oh, it's down in here, actually. Yes, you still need a full tile to run and jump. Um, there's a few tricks that I've learned already that uh, will help you with the run and jumps for modern controls. Oh, I don't need to pull that. I think that just opens that door. Yeah. Like, I'm going to need to do a controls video. Like, I'm going to have to do a modern controls and a tank controls video. I'm explain in grave detail. Because this jump right here. Okay, hold on a second. How can I do this? First of all, let's save it. Because if I fall in, I just want to reload. I'm doing a minimal save slot playthrough. <laughs> I only got three slots. You can do a half tile actually. And, and now you can do a legit half tile in Tomb Raider 1 as well. So to do this one, I want to do that and I want to take a... No, that'll... Oh yeah, okay. And then what, jump once, jump twice? Oh! Even with that bad angle, I'm, I swear to God, dude, the uh, modern control jump distance is a little bit greater. It's gotta be. It's gotta be, man. No! Reload. Well, or die. That works too. Whatever gets us to the load book. Hey, Basanka, yeah, sitting here playing some of these uh, remasters. <laughs> 
No! No, they're not gonna let me. Oh, they're gonna let me. They let me. Oh my god. Thanks, guys. Wow. Now we have the secrets. We're good to go. It's three of three. Matt, did you play PS1 for your original walkthrough? I did. PS1 for the original walkthrough. Alright, let's switch up the weapon here. Whoa, I've got 1,500 ammos for the Magnums. How the hell you expect me to see what the hell I'm doing? <laughs> I just got exploded on. That that crazy nut guy just busted all over my face, bro. Have you ever had crazy nuts bust? Oh, I didn't save it. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. There's just some things you don't talk about in public. Do I want you to take over the decounter if you want? Go for it, brother. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Do you need someone to add to your death counter for an hour? <laughs> oh, you it needs to be a mod though. Are you interested in being a mod? You gotta come to streams often. I mean, you don't you're not required, not obligated, but I prefer prefer mods who've come to streams. Obviously. Dang it. I should have saved it while I was up there. That's why I told you to save it. If you didn't save it, shame on you. Yeah. Okay. Land it! All right, I'm gonna save it here because uh, I don't want to have to worry about. We need to save under eighty. Oh my god! Damn it. Oh my god! That's, That's I told you so save. lame. I saved it. I, That's like the what third time I've done that already. Everyone in this room is now dumber. So yeah, you can actually set up for a run and jump. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna miss this, aren't I? I don't need to. Okay. Dude, I just, you can set up for a run and jump easily with the modern controls now that I've. All right, I'll show you guys how it's done. You just gotta use guns though. That's all you do. You literally walk to the edge, draw your guns, hop back. That's it. All right, saving it. No, that's loading. That's not what the save is. There we go. Glove Boy, it's going great, man. These remasters are solid. You should definitely pick up the game if you don't have it already. But can you walk back? No. Uh, actually, yeah. But it's slow. It's weird how... Look how she takes that... She actually stops. It's weird. I don't know if... Hopefully it's not like that with uh, modern controls. No, she still walks backward normally in modern controls. Tank controls. What? Hi.
They don't make the explosion noise still, though. I bet that's actually... They show the, uh... They show the fire and the explosion and the smoke, but they don't... Sh they don't play the sound. Gym for deadlift day? Oh my god, I need to, the, I need to go back to the gym, dude. I fucking miss... I miss it, dude. Uh, we got all the secrets, yes? We're good, we're good to go. We're done here. Joseph Luciano, you're gonna head out? All right, man, thanks so much for coming by, brother. And thank you so much for the support, epic, legendary. Cool, dude, Sea of Kamun down. Obelisk of Kamun now. Love the smooth loading transition. <clears throat> yeah, it makes me wonder if they even need to show it for that long. I think they do it just for the nostalgia purpose of like a loading screen or something, but... I'm so glad I'm playing this with modern controls for my first playthrough. It's really bringing a lot to light. I think they did the best that they could with these controls. Well, not not necessarily the best. I think they did okay. There's a few things they could have done better, but uh, this is so far pretty good. Um, so this is the entire point of this playthrough. Really, is to play through it for the first time the mass remasters and also play it using the modern controls that's why i'm commentating on the controls so much because i've learned a lot playing um about i learned a lot about these controls playing up to this point from the beginning so give up on that secret oh dude you got this man the second secret in the first level yeah you have to forward an action that jump you can't jump and grab I think I need to push this one more this way. While well, playing all three of the stream, I don't think I'll be able to get to all three. I'm probably gonna get to Tomb Raider 2 for sure. This stream. And get part way through it at the very least. Um, I'm probably going to play the the expansions after I finish all three games, though, so. Now he made the explosion sound.
I'm enjoying the, I really like this frame rate too. It's hard to, it's hard to look at this now. Cause this used to look smooth to me. And now it just looks choppy cause it's 30 FPS. I'm glad that they didn't, I'm glad they render classic at 30 FPS though. The classic graphics, I'm glad they do that. Oh, constantly comparing to get the point of giving up. There you go. Here, let's play with the classic for a little bit. It's a little bit harder. The camera moves slower in this mode with, with modern controls. The choppiness, man. You know what's hilarious is that this is how I normally see this game, too. Oh, thanks. Thanks for throwing that at me. That's why no. I told you to save. It. If you didn't save I'll it, shame my on blindfold you. Blindfold pathing. I think I'll follow the blindfold pathing. I think it's a pretty good pathing. Does classic mode have sharper textures as well? I think they look the same. I think they look more pixelated. I actually look more pixelated to me because I use a filter on my emulator that really enhances these graphics and removes the pixelation. So. Oh yeah, so to do the run and jump, I was gonna say, you literally just, oh, I just already told you, you literally just pull your guns out and hop back and then you can set up for a run and jump modern controls not bad I think they did a decent job okay let's save it this jump can be oh We got one more secret. Can I th remember where it's at? No, oh, it's here. It's here. It is. A oh, no. I thought it was here. I don't think it's here now. Oh, yeah. I use a false grab tactic here. But I don't think. Oh, yeah. Let's try a roll grab. Let's try a roll false grab with uh, modern control. Let's see if we can do a false grab that way. All right, here we go. No. Nope. Yeah. See, that's the thing is that she she automatically grabs the ledge. That's a uh, part of the problem with uh, the false grab. So you have to what hold. I think you have to hold. Circle the equivalent circle. Roll. Come on now. Here we go. Ah, nice. That worked out really well, actually. Ooh, I don't know if I can make that jump, though. Nope. Dang it. Reload. Let's 
it's not not bad actually even in modern controls it's impressive although i'm thinking they did increase the jump distance with modern controls i haven't verified that but it seems like it might be the case because some of these jumps are questionable even with tank controls and the precision they provide whereas in the modern controls you're like grab just do whatever you want grab the ledge Well, it was fun, but now you need to go to work. Oh, no. All right, man. Have a good one. Thanks for swinging by, sir. Ah, here. Yeah, this is the secret. Okay. Okay, looks friggin' awesome. It is, this This is an amazing remaster, guys. I know I've said this a lot for those of you who have been around for a while, but there's a lot of people who came into the stream recently who haven't heard all the crap that I've been saying. So I'll probably repeat myself a few times. But yeah, this is an amazing remaster, guys. You guys definitely should pick this up if you like Tomb Raider, classic Tomb Raider. Honestly, $30 is a steal for this. Did I meant but did I mention how amazing this master is? Yeah, it's not amazing. It sucks. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. What am I doing here? Oh my god, I could have just left. Whatever. <laughs> Okay. Mistakes were made. Bro, that jump looks so easy with modern controls. Holy crap. I'm well, speaking the truth of this amazing remaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mess her. I don't fuck around, dude. I, I say it like it is. Uh, Matt, down below there's a chair. Uh, there's a chair. Apparently, you can change Lara's pose to sitting and move her to the seat. Oh, you can move her to the seat. All right, we'll do something like that here. Yeah, I can see, I can honestly see modern controls contending for uh, speed runs um, in some situations. Not all. They may be. Uh... But just the sheer, the, the capability that you have maneuvering her around, it, the, the turning radius does kill some frames. So having that instantaneous turnaround is going to be. Amazing, I think. What? Oh. I totally went the wrong way. I totally did the wrong... I totally did the entirely wrong thing here. How did I get the... Mo oh, <laughs> that was actually... So the secret in Colosseum with that has the magnums... With the modern controls was actually kind of challenging um it took me quite a, it took me like 10 or so attempts
So it wasn't easy. It's a lot easier with tank controls because you don't have to turn. You might actually be able to get away with using with drawing the pistols to do it. I think Zarpos was making mentioning that. No side jumps hurt sometimes. You can still side jump. You just have to draw your pistols first with modern controls. So you, literally the the uh, the meta for side jumping with modern controls is to draw your weapons and then side jump first. That's all you got to do. And you just got to take an extra step. Do an extra step there. This is what 4090s were invented for. <laughs> guys, I'm playing on a 1070. So. So you guys are aware. I'm playing on a 1070 and my FPS is capped at 170. That's the that's my monitor refresh rate. Ten seventy came out when you were born. Ouch, bro. Yeah, I, I think I redid my PC back when was it twenty fifteen or something like that. <laughs> uh, check that here. B back flipping on slopes. You simply just gotta jump onto it with your back to the, the direction of the slope. Monitor controls, yeah, it still works fine. Yeah, I'll show you here in a second, though. I don't think I wanted to come out here. I think I wanted to go back down. Yeah. That's my blindfold path. So, oh, jumping on slopes backwards. So you're saying like, like this. Yeah, I've been having issues with it too, but I think you can get away with using the, the pistols. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta use the pistols with modern controls. And then you can jump backwards onto it. Or jump roll, that's another way. Face forward and then jump roll. All right, just double check. We have all secrets. We can go to the end of the level. How many shells do I have? We got plenty. Backwards from a slope. I'm sorry, I missed. I misinterpreted. Well, when I there's another slope coming up here soon, man. I'll sh I'll try to remember that. I mean, you just face forward. You just face toward the slope and jump toward it, and then you'll jump off backwards. So I don't know if uh, I don't know what the deal is with your friend there. Oh man, the the sound effects you can hear from the outside of the water is so cool now. That's a much welcome feature, Ed. And the sound is different depending on if you're in the modern controls or not. LOL. Those magnums look sexy? Yeah, they do. <laughs> I 
We got we also have cartridge release in two meter one now. There's those magnums, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. Must be a young one. Sanctuary of the Skion is next, guys. You guys remember Sanctuary of the Skion blindfolded? How many of you guys here remember Sanctuary of the Skion blindfolded? That wasn't too long ago, guys. Here we go. <gasps> Am I stealing IP? What is this? I'm recreating the <laughs> other screenshot. <laughs> Remember me being glad it was over? Yeah, didn't I get caught also? Like, I got stuck here. I literally got stuck here and blindfolded because somebody played the dive sound bite on me right here. And I was like swimming all over the place, couldn't figure out where I was at. <laughs> oh, that was good stuff. And then I ended up doing it. I think I ended, I think it ended up being a successful run. What's up, Hottig? Fun times indeed. Sanctuary of the Skion. Okay, whoa. That is a really cool looking uh, load screen. Maybe I should switch to tank controls and do blindfolded on this. Oh God, wrong guns. Oh man, I'm failing hard here. Oh no. No, I was literally just about to use a sound bite. Why would I turn on sound bites? Because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, so when I do blindfolded people, oh my god. I can't believe I'm this. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Failed. That's why I told you to save it. If you didn't save it, shame I... on you. I'm gonna ban you. That's why I told you to what save it. What was I talking about? I saved it! Sorry, this level didn't take me very long anyway, so. Uh, watch me use modern controls makes it look less fluid. Yeah, she I think it's because she keeps flipping back and forth and the camera's kind of jacked up I'm gonna not worry about those pickups down below Yeah Whoops, you gotta be care you gotta be you can't do it real quick. You gotta wait till the guns are fully drawn, I guess. Oh, the reason why you enable sound bites during blindfold runs. Yeah, I just don't I just don't disable them. Thanks, Raycard. Yeah, I think uh I think it adds a lot to the, for you guys to sit there and try to mess with me while I'm blindfolded. So I have I have like Tomb Raider one sounds in there too, like uh, clang clang doors and going in the inventory and swimming and diving and running into walls. Like I have those sound bites people can use to try to fool me because I require those sounds uh, in order to know what the heck's going on. <laughs> uh, also annoying sound bites that kind of drown out anything else that's going on in the game. There's those sound bites people play all the time on me. But uh, if you, it actually doesn't mess me up that much. I get so mad. It's good stuff, man. It's fun.
I have way too many Magnum ammo. We're gonna probably maybe we do the Magnums for the rest of this game. Well, instead of pistols, in lieu of pistols. Oh, I totally didn't realize there was a small med pack there. You're sweaty, try hard. <laughs> uh. I'm really not going for like speed or anything. I'm just doing the game blindfolded. Ooh. Um. Just that's the only challenge. It's not like a no med pack run. Oh, uh, no saves throughout the level. So I have to do the entire level from start to finish without dying. That's also part of the challenge I'm doing. And it's just per level. It's not a, not the whole game or anything like that. And I made it all the way to Atlantis, bros, Atlantis. So when we get to Natla's Mines, which is the next level, I'm gonna be switching over to some blindfolds. See if we can actually, see if I can actually do blindfolded uh, remasters just right off the cuff, launch day, freaking blindfold action. Hey, I Brink, what's going on? It's a great remaster. This is an amazing remaster, man. Am I gonna 100% all achievements? Yeah, eventually. Not today, but yeah. No load blind. That's that would be the goal. That's what I really want to do is do a Tomb Raider one no uh, no loads blindfold run. Just pretty much do it in one sitting. How long do I plan on going today? I still, I don't have a number for you. It's, I'm not ending anytime soon, that's for sure. No loads, no meds, YouTube walkthrough remaster. Yeah, yep, we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing all the challenges over again and on this and everything and uh, new walkthroughs, basically a whole new channel. It's a whole new badass games. Wait, I don't have. I'm missing a secret. Why? And can I still get it? Of course, I can still get it. Which one was it? It was. Oh, I know which one it was. We're just going to reload to get it. Yeah, I gotta reload the game. Uh, quite decent, 175. Honestly, that's kind of low for what I was expecting, although it is late at night or early morning, whatever. Um. You know, on explosions, I've been getting like 150 on Twitch and, you know, about 40 over on YouTube. So almost 200 pl uh, viewers um, playing remastered. I would expect to have more because this this is a, uh, you know, a new release. I would expect to have more viewers, but whatever. I'm not. It's all right. It's, we can do what we got. We got to. <laughs> I can't talk. I will do with what I have. Whatever. It's Wednesday, people at work and such. Yeah, exactly. I understand that too. Um, yeah, there's probably a lot of people that really want to play, but or really want to watch some content or play or whatever. But they're at work. No, son of a monkey.
I guess I can go this way to get back up to... You call up, but you went home on Monday due to being sick? Oh. Whoa. I fell off again. Like, you can't turn a 90 degree like that in tank controls, man. You just can't. You gonna take the switch to work so you can play a bit during admin, admin hours? Nice. Now that's productivity. You booked all week off for this release? Nice, man. Dumb question, but did the remasters come with a TRLE? They did not. I wish. Is this going to be a, a new record for longest stream by Matt? No, I've done a 24 hour stream before. Never again though. I don't find the I don't find them to be very uh productive. People always want you to do 24 hour streams, but they never want to sit there for it, obviously. Uh and then um yeah, you just kind of drain yourself. 30 hour stream confirmed. Alright, this is the third time I'm killing this guy. What's the time in Ohio? It's uh, 6.30. I'm not in Ohio though anymore, but... I'll be banned if I don't stream 50 hours a day. Damn it. Why do you guys make everything so impossible for me? All right, let's double check. I have the secrets. Let's get back to Sanctuary of the Ski on. Um, honestly, let's switch over to tank control to see how far I get blindfolded. That's why I told you to save it. I saved it! Let's see if there's anything that's going to screw up the blindfold runs. Sanctuary is still kind of still pretty uh, c clear in my head, so. All right, Pony, thanks for coming by. Okay, modern controls kind of make that picking up that stuff underwater a little bit more weird, but not bad. I don't hear those pieces exploding like they're supposed to. Badass games before work. What? What's up, Opti? You really have a chance to be on streams these days? Oh no! 
can use minor controls yeah you can use minor controls with the old graphics new graphics whatever so the uh the graphics are literally just a, a button toggle just press this button right here that's it um tank controls they're in the menu so i can so if i want to play tank controls with the uh modern upgraded graphics you can just boom just like that and now i'm playing tank no all right we're gonna use a med pack because i don't want to die no get up there okay Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button since I'm in tank controls. There we go. Stupid man thing. There seems to be some lag with this uh with 30 fp or classic as well that's kind of cutting it down below 30 fps it seems that way so yeah i'm using modern controls right now um with old school graphics Come on now. Did I play Ari Village? I didn't. That's why I told you to save it. If you didn't okay. save it, shame on you. Yeah, we're going to save it here. Uh, switch over to tank and let's see if I can uh, do some blindfold action here. That's why I told you to save it. I saved it! Um, we need tank control. We need tank controls, though. All right. The side steps aren't the same. Can I change the layout for ta for tank controls? They don't have a sidestep left or right. It's just walk and then you press left or right. Because I need that to turn. I need I need I need a sidestep to turn, and I'm used to using the triggers. But I guess I should get used to also using the walk button because the walk button is going to be used for Tomb Raider 2. All right, let's see what I can do here. All right, let's see. The menu is the same. Um, sidestepping is a little bit different. I got to remember that. Okay, if I mess up, it's not gonna it's not gonna mess with me, but Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to do it that way. Alright, let's see what we can do. I'm going in the hat. What does walk to action option menu? I don't remember. Um I'm gonna do this blindfold. Remind me when I get done, Potic. We'll take a look and see what that is. Alright, here we go, man. I think they're both dead. But nope. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked.
All right, well, I won. But the question is, which way am I facing? I need to turn the volume up. Hold on a second. I think I'm going down the steps. Let's... All you, hundreds of you, talking and chattering and breaking my brain up. What's up? Raiders. The sounds are a little bit different. Where am I? Oh my God, I'm nowhere near I thought I was. Okay. <laughs> what the heck happened? You can still move the camera. Okay. All right. Um, let's just take it from here. We'll go from here. See what I can do. What's up, Raiders? Trying to do some blindfolded action on Tomb Raider. Um, remasters. So far, not so good. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, we got him. I think it might be gone. All right. Oh, I forgot the vault. I'm so close to where I'm supposed to be. Yes. Why won't she go up though? Okay, that was weird. Dang it. I got totally used to the freaking modern control. <laughs> I pressed the right trigger to try to grab. I got to remember how to get set up for these Uzis though. I 
I bet this Sphinx looks amazing. I have no idea what it looks like right now, man. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to get these Uzis. Everyone in this room is now dumber. Well, screw them. Okay, let me save it here. Um, hang on a second. Blindfold saving here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. All right. Well, anyway, cool. Uh, let's switch back to the modern controls <laughs> uh, and just play the game. <laughs> and that's the only secret in here, right? Yeah, this is a one of one. We'll do that as mines, though, or at least we'll get as far as we can, because. Yeah. Do you think speedrun achievements are lenient? Haven't played these games since 90s. Uh, speedrun achievement is very lenient, yeah. Was it eight hours or something like that? That Sphinx looks amazing. I have no idea what it looks like up there, up above, but it looks like the, uh... Oh, no. It seems like the face... I need to... I kind of want to see what it looked like on that face. What the freak? That face looks amazing, man. I was able to dangle from it. I know I was because I heard myself do it. I got two achievements in there. An excuse not to talk to chat. <laughs> Five hours for TR1. Yeah, I'm over that for sure. You see how that camera is messing, you know, kind of bouncing around like that? Wait, isn't there a small med pack here? Um, that does not affect your uh con the controls. The controls are not do not change based on that camera direction. Okay. Is no longer wait. Is there no longer a look button? There is. Um, it is. Yeah, there's a look even in modern controls. But doing this is just as easy. Plus, you can move while you're doing it. I don't think I would ever use the. I don't think I would use the look button that often. Um, with modern controls, I would just use the analog stick. I've already been up here. Dang it! I just want to pull the lever.
They sound updated and they sound amazing. Just going to point that out there. No, 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 no. Son of a biatch. All right, let's reload. Okay, let me see exactly what was going on up here. Okay, so they, yeah, you just, yeah, okay. I see how it was, what it went. Yeah, you just go inside of it. Okay, just like in the regular one. That's tight. Okay. It's funny, people, speedrunners used to draw their guns just so that way they can turn faster. Now people are going to draw their guns just so they can line up and do a run and jump. It's a flappy nuts guy. Okay, that camera angle was messing with me there. There we go. Show us the Sphinx in original graphics for comparison. <laughs> this is like night and day, dude. Oh, cool. Like they put an onk on the forehead, too. Oh, did they fix this texture? I'm not sure it was broken on PC. It's yeah, it's this tip of this ta the beard here is missing the bottom texture on the PlayStation version. Looks like it's fine here. Clang, clang. Oh, so this is what this area looks like. You have to go make your leave. I hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Hey, thanks a lot, Flash. PS1 Sphinx is when you wake up next to your girlfriend.
bitty batana. But but nana. I always load instead of save. I'm done for the day. I did that three times today on stream. I literally put myself out there for you guys. The modern controls are good compared to what I was expecting. Um, the tank controls are still superior, in my opinion. But Well, let's see if the uh, sound works, if the sound cue works. I'm sure it will. Hey, badass queens! What's going on? Bummer, man. Welcome in. That's a bummer. You're a bummer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Works just fine. <sighs> Uh, the guns still have low poly sprites. I think so. We noticed that That's the um, done. Palace Midas Midas's sprites whenever you're um. Oh, let's do this. Whenever you're turning the iron into gold, there's little sprites that come off your hand, and they are not, they didn't update them at all. They're pixelated and everything. Dang, let me just get hit by every body part. It's good. It's all good. It's not like I have 50 med packs. <laughs> Imagine if they added a first person mode. Zero out of ten IGN. <laughs> Moon Sprite, what's going on? Looks like people are coming in. How long have I been streaming? It should tell you. Um, but I've been streaming for six hours. Banana jumps are gonna be easy with modern controls. Uh, the so the um, the curve of your jump is unchanged. So if you're curving in the air, it's the same type of curvature. So banana jump should be the same. I don't think it's gonna be easier with modern controls. I think they're gonna be about the same. But so far, some of the trickier jumps that I'm familiar with have been easier with the modern controls. How long haven't I been streaming for? Bro, you can't even put a number on it. You can't put a number on infinity. Oh, dang it.
That sporadic camera, though, is kind of an issue. The, I mean, honestly, the camera has, been, has always been sporadic in Tomb Raider like that. It's just never been an issue because of the controls were tank. Is this going to be tier eligible? I don't think so. They don't have a. They don't have. They didn't release an engine with it. But one thing that we see here is that we actually have texture on the ceiling, which um, means that it looks like they intended for this to actually be in a cave. We had this discussion before whether or not this is just deep in a canyon, or in the sky in in regular is actually just a dark sky, um, and they they were just limited by the engine. That's why it's a ceiling. <laughs> What the f I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Okay. So yeah, you can you can actually do a hop that back. Too close. You just need to draw your weapons. If you want to grab the ledge, so if I want to if I want to jump backwards off the ledge here, I gotta draw weapons, press back, and then put them away. But you're not gonna be able to grab the ledge in time. So rolling and grabbing is like the only way. Handstand for achievement or a scream. I've already got the did a tons of handstand. So scream. <laughs> That's why I told you to save it. I saved it! I love the underwater muffle sounds. We can now hear enemies outside the water and stuff. That's so cool. Let's save it here. Because this can be iffy. Whoa, this guy is not behaving on me. As I said, it can be iffy. This part is iffy. Iffy spiffy. Hey. Surprise flap? Oh, the flappy butt, the flappy nuts guy. He flapping too much for you. Feels weird having to take an extra action to do things that I normally don't need to take extra actions for, like backflipping. I gotta draw weapons first. What the frick? We're almost at the end of this one, then we'll be in Natla's Mines. Let's see how far I can get in that one blindfolded. That's the one I'm more familiar with. Or more recent, I should say. You got a pink shirt to go with your scrubs? Noi! 
please? Uh, can I check my PayPal? Sure, one second. It didn't go through, did it? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I have received... I guess Vinka sent some sent me something. Thank you so much, Vinka. And also, uh, yeah, somebody else sent looks like around fifteen bucks. I don't want to say the name because it looks like their personal name. But if your initials, if your first name starts with an N, your last name start ends with an E, and that's I got I got your fifteen bucks. Thank you so much for the support. I have so much magnum ammo, it's not even hilarious. Oh no! Oh dude, what? How is that fair? I don't think I need a med pack, actually. I probably will. Let's use one. That's you awesome. Then yes, I got your thing. Thank you so much for the support. Nick Fury. Guys, we did it. Let's go check out Larson. I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. <laughs> nice, bro. They need really to add ass jiggle physics, you know? And then in games, that's the only thing missing, dude. Ass jiggle physics in video games. They got the boobs down. Now it's time for them to focus on that ass. I still got a pain in my brain from you. And it's telling me funny ideas now. I like to shoot you to hell. Cool, brother. What's up, everybody? Noise. I did it said it, it Yeah. I did get the achievement for this for the secret. I must have been blindfolded when that happened. Sid 1000! What is up, man? Ass jizz? What are we talking about here? We got the choppiness going on here again. Alright, now is mine, guys. We're gonna be doing this one blindfolded. Well, not all the way. As soon as as soon as I fail, I'll probably just come back to monitor controls and keep going. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? It's that That's a jiggle. Yeah. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. All you hundreds of you talking and shadowing. Shadow on. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, and thank you, the Gara eighty seven earlier for the raid thirty minutes ago. Thank you so much. Welcome in Shadow Van. Uh oh, well, killer. These sound effects are off. This might just be because of the lag or something. You morons! <laughs> you morons! You morons! Let's go. Hmm. 
Beep, 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 beep. This is one of the better cutscenes, too. Because like, it does this whole bike thing. Four K. Can't believe it didn't sync up the sounds. I want my money back. I think this is just some sort of issue or glitch. I bet if I reloaded, it would fix it. But I don't. I'm not sure. Boom! 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 4K ass jiggle physics. So make it happen. You have the same sound glitch on PS1? It must be an issue with the software then. <laughs> Probably just a fish. Her boots were jiggling there. Trust me, I was looking. Hey, going to job in four minutes, but couldn't resist to join the stream for a sec. Hey, man, it's cool, dude. Paulo and Gwen have a good day at work. Do you think the speedrun achievements are lenient? Yes, I think they're lenient. Pay through the Peru and aside from the camera going whapping quarters, I'm in love with the new control scheme. Respectfully, sorry. What's the context there? Insane cow lady. Ickle. Oh, um, we're gonna be uh, blindfolded. Um, so first of all, let's save it. Almost loaded an empty game, and then uh, we need to switch over to tank controls. I need to remember that the walk button is not the two um, triggers, and then I'm going in the hat. Goodbye, chat. I hate you. Whoops, wrong way. I can barely hear anything. There we go. Wait, what the heck? I can't... I can, That's why I told you to save. Oh, I see. I saved it! Because I was using the freaking modern controls. I'm so used to it right now. <laughs> I'm so freaking ingrained in it. All right, one second here. We're going to go up here and uh, start from here. I need a... I need a... My brain is mush right now with these. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. I totally forgot about that.
Okay, the button press combination is a little bit different. Actually, I think I wanted to push this block. The the so the key combination for turning that 90 degrees is a lot different now. But not a lot. It's different though. It's going to be the same in Tomb Raider 2, I think though. So it's good that I'm learning this a little bit sooner. Okay. The key combination is a little more complicated in modern control or in uh, remaster for that turn. Uh-oh, I think I screwed myself here. Yeah. I got Oh, I got turned off. Okay, we're good. I see. I will need well I need to get the uh... I want to get all the secrets so I'm gonna have to uh... go get those fuses before I even go to the cowboy I might as well just quit this whole blindfold thing now to be honest cuz uh... I right now I gotta go to cowboy but I need to I want I think there's secrets near the fuse areas right Nah, it's not like chat can tell me. Can't freaking see him. Okay. All right, that's fun and all. That's cool. I but I do want to get all the secrets, so I will. I'm just gonna go back to modern controls. But bros, I'm pretty confident. Thank you so much for the meatball pro MK. I'm pretty confident that I could actually do re blindfolded on the remasters, man. I might just switch over next week. Invalid run. I've been banned for speed running. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Didn't want to do it anyway. Stop venting through the American flag. I see. <laughs> Okay. Um, there's secrets to be had over, um, in some of these places, so I need to go grab the fuses, brothers. I might as well just do the level normally. If I want the secrets. That's right, we got switch to pull, switch to pull, switch here. But that just frees the boat. I don't need to do that. Right? I just want to, I just need to open that door. Let's just do the level now. That 60 FPS I noticed, yes, uh, it is very nice. 60 FPS is nice. It's nice and smooth. Mine, re Mine's rendering at 170. So it's capped. Well. Because of my can go even higher uh it's my frame rate my monitor refresh rate i don't know that steam will allow it to go higher or if i have to if i'm if i have a setting that caps it at my monitor for refresh rate or whatever but
The cam's not bobbing when I run. I don't think it ever did. I don't think it did, did it? I don't think I need to get in there. I think that just frees the boat. But then again, I'm so hazy on this area because I never really go back in here that. I just don't know. I don't remember what to do, where to go. And I always skip this these days, so. I think this just frees the boat. Good morning, Tinkerbell. How are you doing? Welcome in, by the way. Yeah, that just frees the boat. Oh, I for sure got the fuse over by Cowboy, too. Dang it. Because, I, I mean, all the there's also all the achievements for killing all the dudes, too. So we got to get th those things. Just got up drinking some hot tea. Happy Valentine's Day to chat and you, you. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. And a happy Valentine's Day to chat as well, as well, as well. Bro. Oh. No, get in there. Oh my god. That was too close. You were almost a jibble sandwich. Some people are looking for looking forward to the lava. Well, here you go. Here's some lava. We're about to see a lot of it too. That looks amazing. That tile looks like it's uh it could be better rounded off for the uh, surrounding tiles, but. It's a glorious hole, isn't it? Yes. How many secrets? Oh, there's three secrets in this one. Oh, okay. I know where I can think of two right off the top of my head. I'm trying to remember where the third one is, though. Uh-oh, I don't remember where the lever is for this guy. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do remember. It's over by Cowboy. So we gotta go back that way. You're on Lost Valley now? Nice, man, nice. I'm on Natla's Mines. There's a lot of back and forth in this level if you play it 
the correct way, the way they want you to. YouTube autos into 144p. Oh, hey, it's low Lara again. <laughs> What's up, David Lara? Six hours and 41. We want everyday remasters. <laughs> we are definitely doing some remaster business around here, man. Feast your eyes on this remastered, Lara. Yeah, this is a solid remaster. I mean, I'm already almost to the end of this game, and I can tell you that... Yeah. Yeah. 100%. If you don't have this game yet, you need to go buy it. Remember, you can't get a physical copy, so you're going to need to go to either Steam, or you can buy it on Switch Store, Nintendo, Nintendo Store, um, PlayStation Store... Yeah, the game looks amazing. They did a they did a solid job here. And they didn't jack it up. They did not mess up this remaster, dudes. This remaster is solid as hell. Am I going for all secrets? Yes. All secrets, modern con controls. Yeah, those are, that's, those are the two goals. Those are the two goals. Uh, I have the other fuses, yeah? Ew. I'm positive two and three are on a whole new level of visual equality. I think so too. Tomb Raider one has a lot of bland, had a lot of bland textures, and they kind of carried, they kind of had to carry into here without ruining so much. Now they did do a lot with the textures, like with the uh, foliage and um, skylights and all this other stuff. So they did a pretty good job with all of that. But Tomb Raider two and three, three was. Uh, they literally just did better. Like two is better than one and one three is better than two. Like those graphics are just better. So I would imagine they will be more. Uh, those two games will be superior to this one. All right. I know about I'm having a hard time remembering where one of these secrets are. Hey, there's the trophy for that. Oh, so yeah, okay, so that's the the the, the trap slide one, okay. And I just happened to do it correctly. Awesome. Trophy.
All right, this part, is, it's easy to die on this guy. I want to kill him, so I'm going to save it and go after his ass. Because there's an achievement for killing him. Ain't nothing personal. What? You're shooting me through the freaking rock. I can't see you, but you can see me. This guy has the quickest turnaround for an enemy. It's personal now. <laughs> nice. All right, let's try to do this specialized jump too. Nope. Can I still recover? Yeah, we're good. God, where is this other secret? If I miss a secret, guys, you guys need to tell me. I know where this shotgun secret is. Oh, it's at the skater kid. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. We're good. I got them all. Did I buy a TRR from Steam? Yish. Steam. Kind of must seem like the guy to use wall hacks. Oh, by the way, we didn't take a look at him. Let's go look at his corpse. Really hard to control this <laughs> with the with the roll view. <laughs> there we go. Found him. Found it. Take a picture. Put it on Pornhub. All right, that camera kick. Okay, 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 camera. Okay, camera. A lot, some of that's really my fault because I like to look up and down. I typically like my cameras to be like this. Instead, more, instead of them like this, they're more like angled down. Kind of can see a bigger field of view on the, on the ground that way. Oh, we got to kill the shotgun guy with the shotgun, too. Is there an F? There's an FOV. Yeah, there's an FOV slider. <laughs> what? This hallway looks gigantic now. Yo. I do some super zoom. Look at this. I can't even, I can barely even control this. <laughs> All right, whatever, dude. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Can you angle Lara by opening the inventory while she's underwater like the original? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh my gosh, I didn't check that. Wait, there was supposed to be Uzi ammo here. Did I grab them? I guess I did. 
Unless the brain farted and grabbed him. Uh Okay, so it's a it's called a buffer. A buffer turn under an underwater buffer turn. Um I don't know if you can. That's a good question. I didn't check that. Next time I get into some water, I'm gonna check that. If I remember. No! Bro, this was going so well. Oh yeah. I tried to do the special super secret special jump here. But I failed. And I failed again too, honestly. You gotta clock in, alright. Have a good night, have a good day, Chuck. You can buffer turn on tier one remaster. I'm getting somebody over here on uh, YouTube telling me that you can buffer turn Amishim. Skater kid hype. We're going to see if we, uh, I'm pretty sure the skip works too. They, like I said, they didn't touch any of the, they did exactly what they were supposed to in this remaster. It's incredible. Yikes! You have to have your guns fully drawn, bro. Even the modern controls aren't bad, guys. from home all day i know what i'm wa know what you're watching today yeah i'm gonna be here i might be playing for a while man king zangief what's up welcome i love street fighter 2 zangief theme is my honestly the best theme in that entire game oh yeah i did grab these okay cool Made it! I'm just gonna go ahead and save it here, might as well. I don't think I'm gonna be anywhere near my 80, the 80 saves for the achievement for beating this, so. Was it 89 saves? I don't know what it was, 60 saves? You have a night shift. I know that what I'll be watching on, on the background. Nice, man. Noise. Should be good enough.
Fortunately, cowboy guy is dead. Boom, 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 boom. This level looks so yummy. It does, man. They did a great freaking job. I, I can't I can't get over the, the amazing remaster we have in front of us, guys. This is reality right now. Let's see if my skater boy if I can do the skater boy skip. I'm gonna I'm gonna activate him after the fact, but I'll go to my tank controls, do my um blindfold method because I know it works and it's easier for me to pull off, I guess. The angling here is exactly the same, brother. They didn't break blindfold controls. At least I haven't found anything that they've broken yet. Oh, he's al he's awake. Okay. They may have fixed they may have fixed that but i may have also done my i feel like my my movements were perfect though so i don't know they may have fixed it yes i'm firing at you i need to go back to modern controls though Yes, I'm firing at you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if you can skip Skater Kid. That will remain to be seen for me at least. Maybe somebody else knows the answer to that. Like the Tony Hawk cameo. So here's the secret that I was thinking. I totally brain farted, forgot about. Where's the Uzis? Didn't I get them? Yeah, I've been using them. I used them on the Atlanteans in Sanctuary. Oh, but I don't have them. Oh, I don't have them. I just recovered them from him. So... Because they took my weapons away when I came into this level. What name and remaster list remastered tombless tomb raiding Lara is going on here? We're playing some freaking Tomb Raider, brother. It's a box of monkeys. Try the puffer angle. Um, what's the puffer angle? Oh, that's right. Buffer angle. I'm sorry. There's some water. Yeah, well, we'll worry about it later. I mean, honestly, I'm just trying to get through this this game and get all the secrets. Yeah, I should. Oh, no. Looks like we'll give it a try here. Because I never saved the freaking thing. Oh, yeah, I saved here. We're good. We're not too far from where I was. But hey, who's got the death counter? That's why I told you to save it. If you didn't save it, shame on you. I missed two secrets in the Sanctuary Scan? No, I didn't. There's only one secret, and that's the Uzi's, my friend.
Your apologies. <laughs> Dom, you're always trying to mess with me, man. You're always trying to mess with me, man. It's no fun if you don't. Oh, how dare you call me no fun? You're fired. So how far are we uh, liking the remasters pre-order so I haven't played it yet? Yes. It's amazing. The remaster is amazing. Hands down, like 10 out of 10 for sure. 10 out of 10 remaster. There's still aspects I don't necessarily like, but... Uh, all right, let's save it here, actually, and try this um, Skater Boy skip again. Oh, we need tank controls. Rip mod Christmas bonus. <laughs> All right, this is my setup and it works for, uh, oh, you know what? I just thought of something. I, f I think I realized, <gasps> did I win? Wait, no, he's, aw he's awake. I think I just realized why. And it has to do with the frame rate. They fixed this because of the frame rate. Oops. Tank controls, we're in tank control town. How are Lara's boobs out of proportion? What? They look proportionate to me, man. <laughs> Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. All right, let's see if the skip, see if that skipped them. Nope. Interesting. Okay. They may have, they may have broken the uh, Skater Boy skip. I need to be blindfolded to do it. <laughs> uh, the setup is very consistent. I don't think, uh, honestly, if that if this was actual classic Tomb Raider, I think I would have skipped him. K 
Kappa. Uh, Matt, what are you going doing with that guy? I don't understand. Please, what am I doing? Oh, it's through, I'm trying to get a. There's a way you can s skip him. Like you skip the trigger tile, so he doesn't wake up, and he just stands there, and you can avoid fighting him. And I was just testing to see if it was if it was still possible to do. I haven't been able to do it with my blindfold a strat, so I don't know. Um, I'm not going to sit here and try to work on that. I'm not glitch hunting or anything like that right now, so I'm just trying to get to the game. Oh, the water, water buffer, buffer water, yeah. Let's do that real quick, and then we'll... All right, so we need tank controls. So, yeah, you totally can. Although she's, oh, she has the same swim speed in this as she does in Tomb Raider 2. So they nerfed her swim speed in this, which means that all my, um, all of my, uh, blindfold swim stuff. Oops, I'm in tank controls right now. All my blindfold swim stuff is not accurate, and it's gonna be a lot worse too. So that sucks. They fixed the skip, they broke the skip, the duality of man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, shit. All right, I got all three secrets, so we're good to go on that front. Oh, it's T-Raid time. How do we not have enough T-Raiders? 190 people here. The frick? Get your T-Raids in. So far, do you think it's possible to do a no load, no meds, or blindfolded? Yes. I think it's possible for all of that. Oops, wrong way. You always get lost at sea or die. We don't need death going on right now. You seem to be pretty alive and well to me. You must not have died yet. Oh, come on, dude. Hey, a Reaper. I've just got on the cistern just now and wow, it looks amazing. It does look amazing, doesn't it? This area looks cool too. We're about to see the freaking pyramids. And I'm gonna I'm gonna also see if we can do the um cow, the uh, shotgun guy skip too here. But I think skater boy skip is fixed, bro. And honestly, that's a that's a deal breaker for me to do this on blindfolded. I guess I could just learn how to do uh, blindfolded uh, skater boy, but. Sin Dragon, yo, what's up, man? What if you're dead inside? Um, you're dead. You should alive yourself. You should realive yourself. Right, let's see about this skip. 
Can we do it with modern controls? I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, it's possible, man. Gotta be. It's a lot more hard. It's a lot harder to get her lined up with for this for the modern controls. Oh man, it's kind of probably gonna be easier to do this. Okay, I needed to do the jumping a little sooner. Whoops, that's not gonna work. No, I want the door to close and then open. That's what I want. That's why I'm... Whoa, come on now. There we go. Okay. Let's see what uh, shotgun guy looks like, brothers. So we can still skip this guy. You could skip. Oh, he looks much better. He doesn't have that jacked up texture on his face anymore, which is great. He looks way more badass. The shotgun looks so tiny, though. It's like a sewer pipe in her hands. That pyramid looks badass, too. We're about to get into an uh, Atlantis. We'll be able to see um, the text. Hopefully, the I can't wait to see the freaking textures with all the um, throbby, throb, heartbeat, blood pumping amazingness, man. Okay, let's trigger this guy and kill him with a shotgun. Say cheese. Cheese. Ah. No, he's going to kill me. I don't think so. At least, you know, it, it's hilarious because uh, in the PS version, he, he says scum sucker, right? He says S-C-U-M sucker. And the PlayStation version, the audio quality isn't the best. So the S, the, you, you, can't, you can't even hear the S in scum. Use your imagination, chat. I trust in you. I believe in you. No, so close. PG thirteen. Oh my. <laughs> uh. Blame core design, man. It's not my fault. I'm just pointing it out. I'm just observing it for you guys. Okay. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh my gosh. You didn't see that coming? Oh. Well, open your eyes. <laughs> open your eyes for the money shot. No, man. Can I please just get the top of this freaking pyramid, man? I guess I could uh, actually just do the run and jump. I don't know why I'm doing it the hard way. <laughs> Dude, these controls do not make this easy. Excuse moi. Okay, you're excused. Asking you shall receive.
All right, let's do this. There we go. Progress. This stream is making your workday bearable. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Max. How you doing, by the way? That must be it. That's probably why people aren't raiding. They're all at work, like, got me up on the background. All right, let's make sure I've got, I'm pretty sure I got all the secrets. We good, bro, we good. All right, let's get out of here. All right, here we go, guys. It is time for freaking Atlantis. Whoa, there's Natalia. Natla herself. Whoa, that egg looks good. Oh, they have uh, enhanced and non-enhanced graphics during the FMVs, too. They must have used AI to, to enhance that, man. <gasps> Whoa, this is weird texture. Like, this is just looks normal in here. But now it's all moving and... Oh... These the Uzis sound so good. They sound very similar to the originals, but they also sound different and updated. Bro, it looks like a brain in here. Oh, and it's it's a uh, 3D. 2.5D, as somebody else put. That's freaking tight. Yo. All the textures are, uh, they don't make this feel like it's not the original, like it's not Tomb Raider 2. It doesn't feel like this. The way they redid this makes it feel like it's Tomb Raider like two meter one it's not just some you know new stuff that completely gutting out all the stuff that we like about two meter none of that's going on here with this remaster guys at least uh not for me anyway i mean i'm sure some people out there hate this remaster This is what you wished anniversary was? Dude, if this was anniversary, like... Although, I mean, anniversary was a remake. It's not a remaster. So I think this makes sense for a remaster. And anniversary honestly makes sense for a remake. So... Okay, we're going to save it here because this drop to get the secret is a little strange. So... I haven't played Atlantis in forever, dude.
New. No. Oh. Jeez. Okay. Doing this false grab is kind of tricky. Although I think I can just drop and grab, can't I? Okay, I got it. False grab. False grab style too. How many, we got three secrets to get in here in this level. I'm trying to remember where they, it's been so long since I've done this level though that I'm gonna have to just remember as we go. Anniversary was used as a context for Legend and Underwear. Yeah, they just basically had the same engine. Right, Legend came out first and then it was Anniversary, right? Is that the... Oh, I'm freaking that up. Oof. Did they smash it out of the park? Yeah, I will say I have to load the uh before the save is so annoying though. Oh yeah, so if on the on if you're on PC, it's F five for save, F nine for load. So that way you go straight to those two things, you know? Yeah, I was having the issue too, because I was also loading the game all the freaking, I think I've done it like three times, like instead of save, I loaded. Man, I haven't been in this room in forever. There's a secret here too, right? It's up at there, it's up there. And there's balls. Balls everywhere. Sorrows, if these sell well, a tier one to three engine editor with these graphics would be great. I think they should do that anyway, but. Imagine Sabatu's in these graphics. Yeah, I know. They really should release it. I mean, it's incredible, these uh graphics. Doing having a having a tier a build a tier elite builder with this? Oh my gosh. I mean, I I sit here and I tell people that I like tier elites better than the original games these days. They're just better put together, more love behind them, all this other stuff. Um, so they have TRLEs set up. Yeah, that would just be so freaking sick. For a load. You're excited for fun mods? Yeah, we'll see what's going on with that. I'm sure somebody will figure something out on how to 
make some stuff like that. There's a lot of big brain dudes out there that will be able to figure that kind of stuff out, I think. You can do normal half tile running jumps in this one now, too. I oh God, I forgot about that. That was close, dude. Oops, that could have been fatal. Maybe we should save it. You know, I mean, we're getting pretty close to the end of this game. Uh, it'd be pretty bad if I had to sit here and redo the same thing over and over and over again. The, there's not a whole lot of throbbing uh, animations anymore. Um, I think in... No, these aren't throbbing in this one, in this section. But we need to take a look at some throbbing. I'm, we need ha we need to have that we need that throbbing. We need that throbbing. Uh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Bro, 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 that camera shit. Oh man, oh dude, I would've just ran right off. I wonder if they fixed how the Uzis used to uh, trail these guys in the begin, uh, in front of the guys. It used to be pretty bad. It's, it is bad in classics. I don't know if they fixed it or not. I don't remember which switches to pull. Just pull them all. Oh, that's one of them. Uh, don't you have to add a death after making bacon earlier? I have supposed to have a death counter. I don't know what they're they're doing here, but yeah, I think you're right. There is supposed to be a. Uh... All right, I'm gonna take over death counter now. since the death counters aren't doing their job. All right.
Thank you for the call out. Bro, get off me. Oh my goodness. He almost off my ass. You're bad. You went for a pee. P.S. Down, 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 down. Okay, I must have got them all. No, these aren't throb textures either. Ah, here's throb textures. Okay. Yes, we do have throbbing in this. Oh. Look at the meat. Look at the it looks so much better now and then in this. Yeah, that's a good update. That's solid. Alright. Well, let's traverse this vagina and get through this level. The answer is in the meat. Give me all the meat. Ah, uh, yeah, bacon lar is in this one. I have to do. I don't know if there is there a skip for that one. I think there's probably a skip. From a brain to heart to a brain, yeah. <laughs> you know what's amazing is that these sounds, they f have a different feel. Because of, even though they're the same sounds, they have a different feel because the textures look different. Does anybody else feel that as well? Or am I the only one or what? Trying to get angled to shoot something or whatever um, in modern controls is really hard when you're on these types of platforms. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, this needs to go. Like, whenever the camera does that, I'm kind of afraid to move because I don't know exactly which way is forward. You know? You gotta, like, when that, yeah. I'm trying to look down there. I guess I could just use a normal look. Yeah, there we go. And cancel, yeah, okay. Yes, this room. Let's save it again. Let's get all of our saves in now. We just got to save in under 60, I believe. And I've got 30. That's it. Yeah, dude, we got this.
So the reason why it actually kind of sucks, like I can't turn and follow them as they fly. I can't stay stationary and turn around because if I push in a direction, she faces that direction and immediately takes a step in that direction too. So there's really no like stationary like turret style firing on modern controls, it seems. At least I haven't found a way. Totally forgot how to do this room. BRB, the guy's there to read the meter. He needs your help to read the meter. Imagine how good the Drek and Maria Dory will be. Oh, dude. Clang clang is up here at the top. Okay, this see I can't get even get the camera to face the way that I want to for it to be straight right now. There we go. It was because it was angled up or down. meter maybe in the basement oh I see mine's always on the outside of my house Ooh, I almost fell off It's also a quick way to get through this room. We still got another secret. <laughs> Son of a biatch. Like, I feel like I need to put the guns away. Yeah, see, look, I pressed down and she ran forward. Ugh, bro, like, that is gonna, that is like a, a bad thing with these controls. It's very hard to understand what the heck to do, you need to do there. Oh yeah, no D plus, there we go, thanks man. The modern controls seem janky. They are kind of janky, and they also are. are I mean, they're okay. They're 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 good. If you get you once you get used to them, you'll. If you get used to them, you'll see what I mean. They're okay. They're not. They're, the tank controls are better, um, but they're these aren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. I thought that this might act, you wouldn't even actually be able to play the game all the way through without them to, with them to be honest. That's how bad I thought they were gonna be, but. I'm doing okay. It's fluid. It makes sense. There's uh 
Yeah, it's it's good. Still prefer the tank controls, but the there's a lot. The responsiveness of these uh, minor controls is pretty badass. So, you have to take your daughter to school? All right. Um, Sad that you're going to miss Bacon Lara? Oh, she's coming up. Oh, I overshot again. Son of a bitch. I was thinking about saving, too. Should have just done it. God. See, this is one of the reasons why I don't like the uh, modern. That's one thing. I, reason I don't like camera-based controls. You see what just happened there? I was in the middle of a jump. If I would have just jumped straight, I would have been fine. But the camera moved on me, and it changed my angle, and it, made, it caused me to fail that. Oh, okay, we got it, man. All right. I think we're on twenty-seven anyway, because I died to get here, and then I. Yeah, I don't know. Man. Hey, Raider Scott, have you seen this tweet from Crystal Knights Names Collection? Yeah, I've seen that. They actually had it at the very beginning of this uh, this game, too. They had this, they took a screenshot and put it into the game. So it's the same one. I don't know why people are making such a, I don't know why, first of all, I don't know why they made the announcement. I don't, I think it's ridiculous that they need to apologize for anything. Um, I'm glad they didn't change anything. But. Beyond that, it's just I don't understand why they gotta why they feel they need to make that statement. Someone is salty that the remaster's doing well. Yeah, and that might be it too. Uh, they're just like crapping on the remasters because Crystal Dynamics really didn't make these. Aspire did. And honestly, Crystal Dynamics honestly deserves to be like, this is how you make a Tomb Raider game. They literally need to have their hand held, <laughs> in my opinion. Because Crystal Dynamics, is they're notorious for screwing up game franchises, just making them something completely different from what they actually are. All right, I'm freaking saving it. Yeah, it's hilarious that like they they made this disclaimer even though they aren't the ones that remastered the game they felt it was necessary for them to make this disclaimer even though they didn't they're not the ones that did it <laughs> it just goes to show man it just goes to show This looks so good, dude. Ah, this is where we're going to get that secret. Let me save it here.
Damn! I was a full life. I literally used a med pack just then. This is a bummer, man. That's, uh, that's a bummer. These things go ham. Yeah. They're they're just as difficult as they are in classic. Everything is literally the same. Just updated graphics, which is exactly exactly how you do a remaster. Yes, they added a few features here and there. They did not they didn't jack up much. It looks like they they um either broke or fixed the skater boy skip depending on how you look at it. No, what's what the fuck? Controls? That's definitely a control issue, man. I should have saved Athena's freaking secret. Are you playing with the modern controls? That's why he has. They, uh, that w it was crazy because like the camera changed on me, but it didn't, my, my movements didn't adjust with the camera. So I was like pressing down, but I wasn't going down. I was going like to the right and up to the, it was ridiculous. All right, this is where I need to get to, right? Oh, I can just get up here. I don't need any more secrets, right? So we're good. Yeah, I don't need to pull that lever anyway. But still, that's a problem, especially for levers that do change a camera. Or just when the camera changes in general, like that was problematic. So this must be the throne room, and I think it says to, to stand on all the thrones or something like that. Or you sit on all the thrones. What's the wording on this uh, achievement here? Let's see if this just does it. Yep, that's it. Got it. Just got to stand on them. I forget which one to do. Looks like that's a good one. These textures, while they look 3D, they actually don't have a 3D polygon texture to it. Oh, Bacon Lara's coming up, guys. Bacon Lara. Well, Bacon Lara. And also there's an achievement there where you don't shoot her at all. <sighs> Am I doing a no no mid pack? No, I'm not doing no mid pack. <sighs> I 
I am cranking through these meds though. I have used a lot, but that's also, I also died a lot, so I might have reused some. Ah, oh, all right, here we go. Bacon lard time. No, get up there. Oh, oh, it's disgusting. We'll take a better look at it here in a little bit. No, 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 no. Another med pack, another one. Here we go. Let's take a look at Bacon Lara. Nice. She's got a really glorious hole. You see that? Whoa. Better than the original. Whoa, man. Bacon. Bacon Lara. That's tight. OG Lara has bigger boobs, though. There you go. Let's get this over with. Hard A, hey, what's up? Going on? What's going on, man? Yeah, the game's awesome. The game is freaking sweet. Oops, I went the wrong way first. Bacon Lara, we have acquired the. Hopefully, I get the. Uh achievement as well here got it coming on the end of this level too which is awesome end of the level we got three of three secrets doing beautifully this is one of the dreaded parts in uh, Nola's no meds for me at least that's how it's done Chugging those meds. Chugging those meds. <laughs> oh my god, how did I ever get through this game? No, there's no meds, bro. Oh my god. This part's gonna be interesting blind. Like, this whole level's gonna be interesting blindfolded. Yeah. I think it's uh right first and then yeah, left first and then right. Okay.
save it here because I'd, I'd hate to I would hate to have to reload further from this point if I did this in the wrong order did I just do it too slow or did I do it in the wrong order I guess we'll find out here in a second Okay, awesome. Let's get this other uh, achievement real quick, too. So you got to jump down here, I believe. There it is. Secret door. It's not the right time to be here. There is a door for you. So we... Oh, and then I probably got to do this again. <laughs> The modern controls somewhat integrate with the tank controls too. Like she still moves the same except for the way she turns when with modern controls. Like her jump arcs are the same. Um, just the way she moves is pretty identical. Besides the turning. All right, here we go. I'll take care of the death counter. Crispy bacon, Laura. Let's just do it. Tihokan! You use the sacramental place as a source of individual pleasure, as some freak factory. They're survivalists, a new generation. A slaughter heap now. And you, we're gonna lock you in limbo. Make your veins hard. A slaughter heap now. And that diseased brain stick solid with frozen blood. Greek your eternal unrest, Natla. You won't rest either or your damn continent. The only way you see getting a no meds trophy achievement is by saving in every room and complete and loading if you lose health. My entire walkthrough, my Tomb Raider 1 walkthrough is a no meds walkthrough. So if you want to know how to do this no meds, then just go look and watch my Tomb Raider 1 walkthrough. We're about to see uh torso guy. Shipping out fresh meat from site territorial rages again will strengthen and advance us. Create new breeds. Kind of evolution on steroids then. A kick in the pants. Those runts Qualapec and Tihokan had no idea. The cataclysm of Atlantis struck a race of languoring wimps. Plummeted them to the very basics of survival again. It shouldn't happen like that. Or like this. Hatching commences in 15 seconds. Too late for abortions now. Not without the heart of the operation. No! <laughs> Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. I know that was crazy or anything, but I still would. <laughs> Dang, Guy Reaper. Good morning, Westward. Okay. All right, here we go. We got some Adam to fight. With modern controls and also a saved game, because... Yeah. Hey, get that back out!
watch the death animation. Oh, does it hurt, little guy? Wow, let's see his glorious hole. Oh my gosh, bro. Your hole is amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Dude, we were able to freeze the limbs flying around. Amazing. How is it so far? It is amazing. This remaster is uh, crazy good. Aspire. Holy crap, dude. Oh, uh, there's a, uh, I have a pick of Lars shot to the fact that Midas has toes. <laughs> do they also, when you, t when they touch things, do they also turn it to gold? So there's another achievement to make her uh, scream twice. So you can, I think you can do that here. I just want to make sure we don't hit anything else on the way down. Let's do the corner like this. Shelly's Encore. <laughs> Shelly, uh, what's her name? She's the first uh, Lara Croft voice actress. Shelly Blonde. Oh, that's a death. Nice time to buy then. Yeah, this is this is really freaking good. I mean they they did exactly what I was expecting them to do and then some. Unlucky for last revelation. Yeah, any any classic fans really need to pick this up for real. Ah, oh my god. Okay. I just ruined that. Okay. I don't want to die, man. We're so close to the end of this level, saving it. <laughs> That was a bad timing, but it worked out. With any hope, the publishers will see the success in bringing us another marriage trilogy. Well, we have to make it a success, right? That's up. Um, whether or not it's going to be a success is up to the, us as consumers. Whether or not the company views it as, as a success and that they should continue to make these remasters. But so far, Aspire has got my, uh, dude, Aspire's freaking amazing. Apparently they, Aspire is also the ones that made, that redid the mobile versions as well. From what I understand, I could be wrong about that. There's a lot of potential in AOD, yeah. Give that to Aspire and see what they can do with it. I forget what the trigger tiles were for that thing. What's up now? Modern controls, man. You, 
I guess I'm just probably not the best at making sure the analog stick is going to go in the straight ahead. It kind of goes up into the left or up into the right, maybe. This is to extend it if. Uh... We also got the good old inner inside face rendering. Love that. <gasps> oh god. Okay, three secrets here. Uh okay, that was the first one. I know where one is because I failed it. All my Nolas nomads, all secrets. You want to play Turok 2? I'm pretty sure I did, but I couldn't tell it. Couldn't. I'm not good. I don't, shouldn't have even answered, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're in the final stretch of this game, guys. Did I miss the secret? Was that secret up above? I totally forget where this, where one of, oh, I, nope, I know where it's at. I know where it's at. I know where they're at. Yeah, it's this one. Wait, isn't there a boulder as well? Yeah, okay. Dang, dude. Well, that was a mistake. I did save it recently, yes. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks a lot for the reminder. Here's with it. one of those secrets. What's up, everybody? Hey, Mark, what's going on, man? We're almost done with TR1, man. I'm probably going to have to quit after this, but I will be back later today um, to play Tomb Raider 2. Uh, at 2 p.m. my time, which is the standard, the normal time I stream uh, for those of you who are regular. 
but I'm gonna I need to sleep because it's going on my sleep my bedtime <laughs> I usually awake during these times the nighttime so this is like normal hours for me but right now it's getting how I find the new controls they're they're okay they're, they're fine I don't think that they're too bad I think that it has its it has its pluses and it has its minuses just like the tank controls but I still prefer the tank controls I have a hard these are really respond like these modern controls are very responsive um and you can really move around quickly um but the inconsistency on some of these jumps with them and with the camera like see how quickly the camera is changing on me like with the camera's moving like this on you and you have a camera based movement control scheme that kind of messes it up brother like how am i supposed to know what exactly forward is going to be You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it, it, it's, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's busted. At the same time, it doesn't, it doesn't make honestly anything easier. It's just going to be just as hard. You're going to, all these people that are like, oh, I, we should have the modern controls in classic Tomb Raider. It's going to be just as difficult because of the, the crazy camera stuff that you got going on. The modern controls make certain movements a lot harder. I agree. But they also make certain things, they also make other things a lot easier too. Like I just want to run off this, I just want to run off and hit this slope. Um, But getting lined up to do something like that is kind of difficult because I guess you have to use the look feature to do that. No, no, no. I don't know, man. Okay. See, I can't even get it straight. There we go. The, to turn down the sensitivity. It's not about the sensitivity. It's not. It's, it has nothing to do with the sensitivity. If the camera is flipping real quick left and right, it's because it's stuck on a wall and it's freeing itself and then jumping to its other location. That sensitivity is not going to affect that. That's just the way the camera is programmed. Um, sensitivity is going to sensitivity is going to control the way the camera moves like this. It's going to control how fast it moves around Lara. Couldn't figure out how to grab on ledges while falling. Yeah, that's that took me a second to figure that out too. Um, it's I think it's right trigger. It's the secondary button in the control scheme. So if we go to okay, so for those of you who are having issues with modern controls, here's the uh, here's the thing. Here's the deal. There's a secondary control, as you see at the very bottom of this list, is secondary. Secondary. What that really means is shooting your weapon grabbing ledges okay those are the two things that you're going to want to that's what secondary do for you action is levers and item pickups okay so action is not the same thing as grabbing a ledge or shooting the guns i don't know why they split it i don't know what now these are to, to match lau controls so that's the way that they programmed it for lau and they just stripped it out and put it in this game i don't know why they needed to separate out for lau to be honest but that's the way of it in uh in these remasters hopefully that makes makes it easier for you i'm gonna overshoot again you had to go to reddit because you struggled with it as well yeah So I've been using a lot of uh, trigger stuff for grabbing ledges instead of actually the action button, the uh, normal action button. And it kind of screwed me up because I try to do some blindfold stuff and then my my mind was, my mind is ingrained in these modern controls right now and I couldn't switch. <laughs> so like that. Blaze X30, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Okay, let's hope I can get the frick out of the secret. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk to this edge. I'm gonna face this way though. 
Uh, I'm going to uh, maybe even save the game. Let's draw the guns, walk backwards here. All right, actually, let's take a step forward like this. I think this will be good. Yeah. Uh, let's use a med pack. Let's save the game. Because this jump is disgusting. Or at least I, it's disgusting on modern controls. I don't... Dang it. Good thing I saved it. Yeah, here we go. Wait, why'd she keep running? She didn't stick her freaking landing. There we go. Toasty. There we go. No! Oh my goodness! Freaking gosh dang! Dang, good thing I saved there. My streaming tonight, yeah, I'll be in the start at 2 p.m. my time, which is, uh, what, 7 UK? Something like that. All right, we're coming up on that last secret, and then we'll be fighting up, fighting a uh, Natla. Oh God, come on, can I get my camera back, please? Here we go. I think this is too hot back and then a run and jump. Secrets in Atlantis too. If I'm pretty confident I got them all in Peru as well, but I know for a fact I got them all in all the other ones. So hopefully that's hopefully I got them all. She doesn't seem to turn around in this one. We got another achieve. Still streaming, that's right. I'm gonna be stopping here before too long though. I got a ton of Uzi ammo, my goodness. It's so much easier to turn around and dodge these things with the modern controls. You can't bump off me and my brood so easily, Lara. behind her 
Oh, snap! That's news to me. Defeat the third ruler of Atlantis. Natalia down. Natla. I know it's Natla. Freaking heathens. All right, guys. Final jump puzzle. We're out of this. Am I been playing tier two today? Yes, I will be playing Tomb Raider. Guys, I will be restreaming later today at 2 p.m. my time. That's my normal stream time. Okay, that's my normal stream time. So uh, when you come out for explosions or blindfold or whatever you're coming out for, Elden Ring, those times I start, that's what time I'll be starting later today. So. We'll be doing some Tomb Raider 2 and uh, float through that game. The shaking though, man. Yes, it's a part of the original. I know. I know it. So I'm gonna, you know, get off here and take go get some sleep, uh, get some food, relax for up until 2 p.m. Okay, 2 p.m. is exactly two, three, four, five hours from now. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get that no meds achievement, man. Fellow EST, I see. Yes, Dark Horror and Thief. Bro. There we go. Finish Atlantis chapter, save 60, 86 times less than a single walkthrough. But what about all the secrets? I, oh, I think, uh, I don't think there's, I don't think there's an achievement for getting all the secrets in the entire game. There's an achievement for getting all the pickups. Eight hours, yes. It's a glorious broom. Pretty cool, man. Oh shit, you're back. Yeah, I've been back since, uh, what? July, August last year. It's around six months now. Yes, I'm glad to be back. It's awesome. Nice remaster, except no tr triangle boobs. This is a sad, this is a sad day. You can get the triangle boobs back. You just got to turn off the uh, modern graphics, brother. And it's just a single button toggle. So you can, you know, please yourself to triangle booms all you want in the remasters, man. There's also, uh, there's also nut sacks legit in, um, what is it? Uh, the Greece levels. There's some porn pictures. There's porno. This has been an, this has been an amazing treat just to play the first game all the way through. From back in the Disney on YouTube, like 15 years or so. Yeah, that's right, man. 2009. That's when I started. Dang, that's. If you were talking about 15 years, you, you're basically talking back when I fir first started the channel. <laughs> Epic indeed, man. So guys, here's what's going to happen. I'm done for now. Um, I will be playing later today. Five hours from now will be 2 p.m. my time. Five hours and five hours. Look at your clock. Add five hours. That's the time I'm going to start. For Tomb Raider 2. Did I play the entire game nonstop? I did. We got all the secrets. We're going to go through my, uh, my trophy list real quick, though, too.
So let's see. Uh, Cataclysm Atlantis. Tier 1, yes I can. 24.4% of players. Find all secrets, wow. Cool, dude. Finish game in less than five hours. Beat the game using only Lars guns. Uh, don't let the rats bite you. That's in tier two. Beat the game without using any med packs for tier one. We're gonna go through and get the, all these two this weekend, guys. We're gonna platinum this game this weekend. I gotta use the level skip cheat. Why did it have to be snakes? Let's take a close look at the snakes. I'm not sure where to get this one done. Hope to God the remaster four, five, and six. Me too, man. Don't forget the unfinished business. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing the expansions after I get done with all the regular games. Complete all exercise in Lars home. We gotta do that. We're gonna I'm gonna platinum the uh, remasters this week. So I'm gonna be streaming, guys all weekend starting today <laughs> so uh yes today thursday friday saturday and sunday i'm gonna be streaming nothing but tomb raider remasters so we're gonna have time to go through maybe even do a no loads no meds attempt on one of these games get the games out of the way get all of the um expansions out of the way try to get all the trophies out of the way whatever time i have left we're gonna be doing some challenges marathon <laughs> a marathon so plenty of remaster stuff going on here and uh yeah man it's been great By the way, don't forget to, if you're new here, don't forget to follow uh, the, follow me here on Twitch. Follow me, subscribe to me over on YouTube, exclamation YT, exclamation, here, we can just do this. Uh, don't forget to join my Discord, Discord, um, and yeah. And if you feel like tossing me some cash, then there's also a donate leap, donation link there over there on Streamlabs. The second level near one of... Uh, of the secrets is where you get the snake achievement, if I recall, Matt. Okay. Yeah, because there's like those little snake statues. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, CS. Dick's cord. <laughs> See you in five hours. We're going to wait for these to get over. I'm so this is long. They're going, doing all the cast for uh, the different languages here. You always toss your money. I mean, thank you so much, badass queens. Get those dollar bills, you know? Those dollar dollars. I can't wait until the, do the dollar. Oh, I don't know what it's like. Is that what they use in the UK for strippers? They toss $1 bills at the strippers, or I guess it'd be one pound bills. At the strippers in the UK, is that how they do that? That's how it's here it is here in America. Thanks for the streams, you're welcome, W Starlights. Thanks for coming out, man. No? How do they do it over there in uh UK? Where's Dom when you need him? Oh, I see. We have only have five dollar notes, so it's more expensive. That's just use the one pound coins. Just chuck them at it, man. Bong. One dollar. So what? Just use the coins. You know, do that snap thing. You know, when they're up there and they're trying to like, you know, do the twerking. Just like get your coin and snap it right at their asshole. <laughs> one night after doing after uh, one night of work, 
and they're just covered in welts from being pounded on by uh, coins. This is long freaking credits. A lot of the achievements are hidden for you. I don't think I have, do I have any hidden for me? They're all, sh oh, 65 hidden achievements remaining. We have the full list though. And I'm gonna be making a video on how to unlock all of these. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna be making videos on how to unlock these, so. Take a close look at two ink and mummies. Looks like I forgot one. Make the gorilla from the arena die at the highest possible point. I didn't figure out how to do this one. Dare me to come to the UK and throw coins at pole dancers, see what happens? I don't even, I don't participate in that kind of culture, to be honest. I only appreciate that it exists so I can make fun of it. <laughs> Uh, compared to Metal Gear credits, it isn't that long. <laughs> no doubt, dude. Like, Metal Gear Solid credits, they are freaking... I'm getting all three of them for one game, though. Uh, so this is a Tomb Raider 3 credits. I beat Tomb Raider 1. What the frick? What's frick wrong with you? I come to the UK, I have a lot of fans there. Oh, nice. You know what's interesting is I don't think Tomb Raider is that popular in the United States. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I, there's only been so many people that I know of, like very few people that actually have played in like Tomb Raider in the States that I actually know. There's a lot of viewers, sure, but I'm just talking about people that I know. Um, when it, And they also mentioned the sales, the pre-sales for the remasters. The UK was on top. The United States was on bottom out of the 15 that they were keeping track on. At least we were on the board, but we were at the very bottom of the board. So, like, the remasters are not selling in America. You think it's the English representation of Laura? I think it's just the fact that I think that's part of it because it it um appeals to the to you know UK gamers, uh, but also the core design was a UK development studio too so and plus uk was a part of the united you know europe the european union for a little while there and so that kind of was spread out that's why europe in general just enjoys i would imagine that's why europe in general enjoys tomb raider laura is british is she not she is doesn't work at the moment yeah the uh bots kind of broke so if you're having issues with the bot <sighs> the lost artifact i still got that sitting right here man Man, we are we are eating we are dining so well with these remasters. Check that out. That's a lost artifact for PC. The original. I will be back in five hours, yes. Is anyone getting snow right now? I don't I don't think so. I don't think I am. 50? Oh, credits are over. There's our final stats. All secrets. Yay! Five hours, not including deaths. 16.5 med packs. I still gotta get a ton of pickups.
and then it takes me right back to the menu. And then there's Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Nine minutes over the five hour achievement. I can't believe it. How to use half a med pack? Oh, uh, a large one counts as one and small ones counts as half. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me uh, for now. I will be back on. It looks like it's going to be four hours and 45 minutes now, by the way. Uh, how do I even leave the game, though? Oh, probably like exit game. There we go. <laughs> Amazing, guys. Dude, these remasters are freaking solid. Oh, my God, dude. We are just dining so good today. So, um... Oh my gosh, man. Guys, we we have been blessed with these remasters. Usually remasters suck, and not all of them suck, but usually they go through and they they start tearing stuff up. They're like, oh, we want to... They actually kind of do like remakes and stuff. They add craziness. They didn't do any of that. And that is so good. Freaking, I can't believe how good these remasters are. If you don't have, if you haven't pre-ordered these remasters, even ordered them yet, you need to get on it because there's a, there was a sale. I don't know if it's over now that the, the uh, game is launched. I think so, but it was like 10% off. So anyway, guys, I'm it. I'm out for now. I will be back.